Just Milton's again? Yep. Okay. Yep. We're all set? Yes, sir. All right. We're up? Yep. Okay. There it is on the YouTube feed right now. Don't see the tweet that says we're live, but there it is right there. Okay. Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Kirk Minahan Show. Go subscribe. Right, Coleman? Yes. Smash that button, right? Got to smash it. Smash it, right? Smash it. Yeah, Absolutely it. pound it. it. Yeah, pound it. That's right. Pump and thrust it. The C&G boys are here, Mike. I like it. The kids. You hang with the, the kids. kids. Yeah, it dad really, the kids. I couldn't come up with a, a good enough analogy because the star is still here. So it's hard. No, that's to, not, this I, is era 3.0. It's it, but yeah. it, it, you and Justin. What are you being shaking here, your head at, Coleman? It's Kirk, Kirk Minahan show. That's not star, what that's star is still here. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Coleman. It's nice. But Justin being here with you, uh huh, and you treating him as a sort of, sort of an equal. You weren't e too hard e on him easy, yesterday. Easy. Easy. You know, well, you well know, he was you know the, what I mean. He's the closest to a contemporary in the in the building. That's what I'm saying. Which is well, well not in the building because the guy downstairs is you know Steve's buddy. Yeah, and the landlord stopped right. by. Yeah. Yeah, she swung by. But other than yes, it, it was weird. We're, it's, it felt yeah. like, you know, Dustin Diamond being the vice principal now. You know what I mean? Like oh, Justin, the, yeah, the new class. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, so I'm um, Dick Belding there. Yes. I'll take that. Yeah, okay. All right. I didn't know if that was a good so enough analogy, Augustus but. is but Augustus is screech though. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It's not perfect. But Coleman, <laughs> but Coleman wants to be Zach Morris. I was the, I was I, trying I to I saw some criticism online about that that you're too cool for Gus. Too cool for you. You're acting like you're. you're no, you're, no. You're, I, there was like a little uh, Stephen Me. Vibe. Did you, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Did you give him a wedgie? Did you no. humiliate him? Did you, no. Did you no. haze him? Did you like pee on his face after the show? No, or not at all. Not at all. I, okay. I, I, I am enjoying Gus. It, it's more. You texted me yesterday. You're enjoying. The, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's more of a. Uh, yes, we're buddies. I'm enjoying Gus. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, well, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm mentoring now, Mike. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I could have used that. Well, I, I think he has talent. I believe in him. Oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah. Well, right, what can you damn. do? Yeah, well, hey, look. No, but, uh, but I like these guys. We had a lot of fun yesterday. Um, but, I mean, the, before we get to everything involving Mike and the show and everything, I mean, the real story of the day went, basically went viral was Augustus's bedroom, oh which, I, which I told you was going to look like that. Did you clean it up or no? Yes. Okay. It took about 20 minutes because it was mainly clothes and sheets. What was that teddy bear doing? It was just hanging out there. But it was like stuck to the TV. <laughs> Enjoying like, the scene. It, it was holding the TV up for me. Does that seem like a practical, foolproof, like long-term plan for that television? Oh, well, it's, it's obviously hanging on the wall. But why is the teddy bear there? It's like jammed into the TV. It's leaning up against it. It, it was a bad angle for that teddy bear. I have a lot of questions about this. About this. <laughs> have you cleaned your bathrooms yet? Yes, th that gets cleaned like every three days, four days. I don't believe you. Like, why, but, you're, but you guys are hoarders. It's, so the, the, but you are hoarders. I would say no. I would, Did you I see would, a mic? Were you able to see it? <laughs> no. You're asking your employee, why was the teddy bear there on his, <laughs> on his second day? <laughs> I mean, I would never treat Dale Bear like that. That would yeah. never happen. No, so I saw the reaction. I can't I can't get a grasp of what it's it was, horrifying. but it seemed like a frat house type of environment. Yeah, he's married. He's there. Maybe worse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and Gus been gonna, and Coleman's going to live there. That, so oh, that, is that confirmed? That was kind of glossed over a What's little that? bit yesterday. Coleman's is living Coleman in the bedroom with the Mr. and Mrs. Augusta. I hope that's sleep in the middle. That's excellent. I mean... I'm a good snuggler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I think I think two minute fans. I would be willing to put up Mr. and Mrs. Augustus at a nice hotel for an evening, no problem, and have two minute fans sleep in that room at its peak worst <laughs> with with the dogs. It would have would to you be, be okay with that, Gus? Fans, I'd be okay right? with that. You'd be okay with yeah. it. Would, would, would Mrs. Augustus be okay? That one I don't know. That one has to run by her. I think what's being lost, and I don't. She seems like, a, as I said, a very lovely woman. I got to meet her the other night. Very nice. Looked horrified. Like I said, yeah. looked like the first half of the movie Room with Brie Larson. Like yeah. she looked like she was Jeez. being. Held captive by Gus, but um, she has to take at least because she works, right? Yes. You know, you didn't until now. Correct. She has to take forty two percent of the blame for the room being like that. No, you work. no, no, no. It. Oh. I would say no. Am I at wrong? Least. No, no, well, no. She works though. So I mean, during the day, I, it, it, can you at least do that? Her I, side is much gross. cleaner than mine. Her side. Yes. Yeah, so wait. Like the rooms like has two halves. What is this, a sitcom? Like when, when those I, like when they when they put the put the line in the room like the no. On, there's on no the line Shirley? in the room. It's just <laughs> her. She keeps oh. her side more neat than I do because usually like this is the result of my ADHD. I put the clothes after laundry and then instead of putting them like the extra two minutes to put them in the dresser, I just throw them on the floor. That is nothing. To, you're a slob. There's yes. nothing to do with that. ADHD. What's in the dressers currently? Clothes. I what don't, was in it before. <laughs> I mean, why'd you have your fedora up? Like a lot of people were noticing the fedora was still prominently placed. Uh, it's you never know when you imagine having to answer all these questions about your home. Why is the fedora there? <laughs> well, if you saw, if you could see it, Mike, this is one of the few times where I'm, I'm envious of you. Yeah, because if you could see, you'd be disgusted. Well, I'll tell you why I say more than forty-two percent for the wife. It well, clearly but, it doesn't but, bother. She lives like this. It must. Bo does it does not bother. It only bothers her. She lets me know. 
And I say I'll get to but it. But she lives in squalor. Yeah, she, yeah, she, 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 she would do something. She, she doesn't come on my half of the room. She, <laughs> what are you talking about? Would she jump over when she goes to bed? No, by so, so, I was, so, so are, are you... Uh, yeah. Leave that, leave that alone. Be classy, would you please? <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't be a kid. Be a, you're not a kid, right? I'm having fun with the you're boys. Like, come on. <laughs> you're, an old, you're an older guy. Now. Act like it, please. All right. Um, so the Augustus home, is that on the second floor? First floor. Bedrooms on the... Are, uh, there, two, are there two floors or no? Yeah. Okay. So the bedroom's on the first floor. Yep. Okay. So if I walk into the house and I go into, am I taking a right to get in your bedroom? Or? So if you walk in from like our side door, you go straight side through door. the kitchen. Straight through the kitchen. Okay. Well, you try to navigate through that kitchen. Yeah. You try to navigate right. through. And By then, the way, before we get into that, I had no idea we had a refrigerator in the studio. Oh, I didn't even know. I, didn't <laughs> know. I, I, I should have I should remembered it, Mike. There that have been a couple not. days. This is this speaks to Dave's uh, attention to detail. There have been a couple well, days where I walked in here. And said, "Does it smell odd to you?" I never smelled it. And Dave would say, uh, "No, that's probably the building." <laughs> Which I never knew what that meant. But I was like, "All right." <laughs> I've never, I've never so Justin with you this July Fourth. Was that last July or two years? A year and, and a half. half. Was a year and a half yeah, ago? Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. So you guys are like, "Well, I mean, th but that must be what your fridge is like your house." No, not at all. That's bullshit. You're fucking full of shit. The fridge is like almost empty at the house. Well, why is that? Well, because we had a. Go she works and he doesn't have week. any money. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? You go shopping next week? We're going to go shopping this weekend. Like, How are you living? I mean, we <laughs> have, you we got have a job, enough food for the week. We can finally the hit week. the grocery store. <laughs> we have enough food yet. for the week, but <laughs> we have enough food for the week, but it's not that much left because like tonight I won't be you home for dinner. You can't pay your... I, I are you... Are you guys squatting in the home? Is, no, we're not squatting in the home. Is it your home? <laughs> yes, it's our home. Okay, you own the home. Yes. Okay, you have a mortgage. Yes. Okay. You have no food. We have food, the bedrooms but not are, you a lot. Said, you said you didn't. The bedroom's like a mess, and you couldn't afford to get your cell phone. Well, the cell phone's fixed, so we're good. Who, but your mom paid for that. She helped, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. Oh, no case a, on it. This either. is a Gus line I love. What's that, Gus? Uh, what's that called? We got a case. We got, got, got a case. case. Big. Good, good. That's big. That's <laughs> crucial. Gus, Gus said something to the effect of, uh, I forget what he said his mom paid for, but he phrased it as a, uh, I pulled a few strings with my mom. <laughs> like I called in a few favors. Wow. I when mean, you're the baby of the family. That's what I, you got to do. I have to think that Karen is disgusted by that house. Yes. She's never is been. Is she clean home. or no? No. I mean, she No, does. she's, she's not is, clean. No, she is. She's very clean. So your home is clean. You're, 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 my home, my, my you were parents' raised. home, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Ron and Karen. Yes. Yes. So I like the name Ron Augustus, by the Ron way. Ron Augustus. I, that's a great name. Um, it's almost like a PI. It is. Yeah. It could yeah. be. It's a good. It would have been a show in the 80s. Like, like yeah. Like, uh, 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 with play. James Brolin would have played him. I thought yeah. I was staying in Augustus Tower. I was like, this could be Ron Augustus money. I here. saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? So, so they'll go over there. Is that a point of friction between the women in your life? No, not at all. It's just my mom's been busy and they haven't had the time to come up. Where do they live? Middletown. How far is that to Bridgewater? <laughs> like an hour, hour 15. How uh -huh. long have you lived there for? About a year. They've been, they've been busy for a year? They've had time to drive an hour <laughs> yeah. to see your home? Your mom? They came. They came when we first moved in. She the president of the United States. Did I miss? It's like busy, Dave's brother that lives she? like fourteen minutes away, and they never saw. Yeah. Him. <laughs> She's too busy. That she, she does. We just had a lot of stuff in the family going on. So is they, she aware that your house is that that filthy? Yes. Okay. I mean, My what God. is she? Uh, would you, can we talk to Karen? Uh, I can try. We've talked to her before. She's yelling at me about shit. And meanwhile, this I mean, I think Justin would go over there and clean it if we paid him. Oh, he, he would, yeah. 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 It's a reasonable request for a man to do, don't you think? <laughs> it certainly is. I just, like Justin, I just like Justin leaving Grill on the Hill in the middle of the day. I got a job to do. Yes. <laughs> Winston Wolf. Of yeah. <laughs> if I'm Kurt, then I apologize. <laughs> now, Gus, pretty pleased with the fucking sugar on top. You just tell me where the fucking towels are. Tell me where the belt is. Hey, I found all three belts. You did. You did. That's, I'm really happy for you. I love, I love the phrase makeshift belt yesterday. Oh, my God. You got a regular belt on today? Regular belt on today. Okay. That fits. That's why you're so skinny you can't afford any food. <laughs> you're starting to swell like those Ethiopian kids. There's like flats around them. Oh, that's probably the entire house. I wanted, right? to, uh, I wanted to tip my cap to you today because I don't appreciate it when I'm on the receiving end. I've never been able to marvel at it from a distance. Yeah. Your ability to immediately deball someone like in a drive-by fashion. Who's that? You started the show. I don't even know if Gus had spoken yeah. yet. And you go, uh, I wonder if I made a mistake hiring Gus. Yeah. But, <laughs> and that's a good tone. To <laughs> well, I mean, I wonder. He, didn't even, he, didn't, he was like, yeah, no, maybe. I mean, what, what is, what's going on here, Gus? No, I'm trying to get in touch with my mom. I know she's working right now, so. Go on, let's go here. Fucking call her. What we, if she doesn't answer, she doesn't answer. If she doesn't want to talk, we don't have to talk to her. Jesus Christ. Dealt with that yesterday. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. He was here, you know, by the way. Hmm? 
He was in this room. This morning? Yep. Yep. Oh, we dropping off the dress? Yeah. Right. The dress is... What is going on here? Why does it sound so like shit? It's trying to connect. Oh. And you know, hey, my... what's up? Hey, Mom. You're uh, live hey, to tape with Kirk. I have a messy bedroom he wants to talk about. Uh, I, I'll handle it, Gus. <laughs> Karen, good morning. How are you? Oh, good morning. How are you? Good. I'm sorry to bother you at work. Um, do we uh, do we have an explanation for why your son is such a slob? I mean, this bedroom is <laughs> disgusting. The kitchen is gross. I understand. Look, uh, it's modern times. I'm I'm not saying the woman's to blame. It's fifty fifty. I know you're not a big fan of his wife. That's a different conversation. <laughs> but what what what? You must be humiliated as a mother. He said how clean you were. What's going on? Yeah. I don't know what happened. The cleaning gene didn't get passed down. I mean, but that's, it's, it's like filth. Like you, you, is that why you haven't been over there yet? Absolutely. Oh, is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so why, Gus, so that's exactly why. Yeah. So, but you, you said that wasn't the case. I thought it was. And she didn't tell me that was the case. Well, why? I mean, uh, te I'm teasing. I'm teasing. No, 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 no. I haven't been there for other reasons. That's yeah. All. Okay. I understand. Yep. Oh, I mean, what's the, do, do you, are you surprised at this? Was he a slob growing up? Yes, he did, was. did you baby him? Is that what it was? No. No. Okay. All right. Well, all right. Go back to work, Karen. Sorry to bother you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You yep. should. You should bye be bye. grateful for that. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's just. A, it's, it's. It's disgusting. It is. I mean, I understand this. Maybe other family issues why she hasn't gone to see you. I. I can be respectful for that, but I. I don't know. But it's. Everyone was weighing in on this. Uh, Whitney. I saw Big Cat was texting me. Jeff Lowe. Everyone. Everyone had a, a thought about this. Uh, about this, about this bedroom, I, I, you know, I don't know. Is there who would you feel uh, is right for the challenge to spend the night in Gus's home? Well, you got to go back to the originals. You got to go back to McFuss Daddy, to Justin, Tim Riddles, and Tim, <laughs> yeah, yeah right. not Tim Van Canton, and that guy uh, Dana or whatever his name. Was. Well, maybe <laughs> yeah. he, he might live there already. <laughs> <laughs> is a is a bedroom where Tim and Ken can stretch out? Is that better serve for him? You know, that he would be nice. Yeah, yeah. So he won't cramp up. There'll be no what is it? Vamoose. Vamoose. There'll be no vamoosing. I think that's probably better. He'd be fine with that, right? I think he can handle that one. Okay. How would you feel about if your wife, like, how, how would you feel if, like, Justin spent the night platonically, like, with your wife in that room? I mean. Are you fine with that? I'd be fine with okay. it. Okay. All right. I'm just spitballing here. Yeah. I, I, you're okay with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Because he's quite charming. He is very charming. Breakfast or anything? That's <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean. What did Will say to you that time? You're 15 more minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll continue. Augustus, I'm trying to figure out. I, I don't know what's going on, but yeah. it's troubling. I'd say so far troubling. I think. Uh, I think. I think you made the right choice. The Steve hey, the Robinson right metric, right? Proven right again. Where on the last? Well, these day, guys wanted two on your list. Well, you no, had Will at fifty one. I'll tell you why it's exactly right. Okay, sure. They were first and last on my list at uh, the, the final tally. Gus was last. And in my heart of hearts, I thought that's always what you want. Sure, I understand. The, the best and worst candidates. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Um, oh, yeah, you missed the whole thing. Yeah, you, you got to watch it. I watched from afar. Yeah, it went well. I think everybody seems happy with it. Very much. Marshall's, yeah, I talked to Dave yesterday and uh, about other stuff, when, including the sort of future of us doing pay per view. So they seem pleased. Very good. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah. All right. What else? Oh, what else? What else you got, Mike? I was. It was it said yesterday? The four days a week is official. Four is days a week. Just... Well, going forward, right now is the yes. plan. Okay. That's the plan. Mike's here today. Uh, can you do Thursday instead of tomorrow or no? Sure. Okay. Mike's here today and Thursday. Mutt's here tomorrow. Uh, and then whatever, various men of fans, that's fine. Whatever, whatever. Mike likes to work alone. I respect that. Well, I was hoping to be in where Mutt was in, but that's fine. Really? Yeah. Why? I always like Mutt. Oh, he had a good video, I thought. Yeah. yeah. Didn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah. It was short. It was quick. It was to the point. Well, listen. What? First of all, if you want uh, low-brow material, bring in high-pitched Dan Cass to roll around on mouse traps. Hey, wait a minute. I wait try to make people wait, think, goddammit, and always feel been, something. You've always been the thinking man's community. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I'll say I'm surprised. I wasn't Colony necessarily was very down on it. I wasn't confident it would do well necessarily, but based on Justin's performance, I did not think people would find it boring. I was surprised no, by that criticism. I didn't see that. Yeah, where was that? <laughs> or too long, whatever it was. Oh, no, I thought but, it was, but no, it was means good. Boring. No, it was good. It was good. It was good. Um, uh, I mean, what do you think about Colleen again today with these hits? Do you feel Do you feel like we've lost him a little bit? <laughs> I'm glad. I, no, I think he's bad. I think the opposite. I okay, think he's, he's gained back. him back. Okay, good, yeah. good. I spoke to him like three times. We talked more yesterday than we've ever talked. So uh, It would have been such a great move if you came in here and there were no microphones. <laughs> he took them, he's gone. He took them all. <laughs> he's gone. I kind of figured in when we walked in, I was like, he probably took everything yesterday. <laughs> I just saw a car that looked like his when I walked in. I was like, this fucking guy, please don't tell me he's here like hanging out. <laughs> please don't tell me he's sunk that low. 
Oh, jeez. He anyway. seems uh, he seems looser. He, I, yeah, I, I, I think, he's, I think he's back. No, yeah. I think it's good. He'll be. And he's part. I, I like that he's part of it too. You know. Yes. He's not like you know Steve. Steve went away for a while. Now he's back. Did you think Steve killed it in the pre-show or no? Uh, I mean, he did uh, as as well as I would have done, probably. So let's With two minutes notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a tough scene. It's yeah. a tough scene. All right, what's going on, boys? Uh, first, oh, for, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Coleman. Yeah, Before yeah. you mention this, I we don't edit stuff generally, mm. but he said the name Dan Katz. I cannot. Uh, as a Swifty, mm, I just can't. I, I, I don't know about you. Mike. I'm criticizing him. I, oh, good. Okay. This piece of shit. He's good, had a good, good for too long. Good. I mean, this guy yeah. is advocating sex tapes with That's right. celebrities. That was like, wrong. what the fuck are we doing here? I don't like that. Like, clearly not satirical. Like, no. he want, he do, he's, demanding, he's demanding. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, demanding. Yeah. He's on with PFT. I have that audio if we want it. I mean, I guess uh, it's I guess cool if not. No worries. No, I'm trying to think we have the balls to play it here. I mean, that's a it's pretty scary stuff. Yeah. Just right. cut the cut the live and take it out after. Yeah, go ahead. Right. I guess. Let's hear it. You know what? All right, I'll say this: If Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift release a sex video, I'll consummate this <laughs> ma- this uh, relationship and be like, "Fine, you guys can have sex. You can be boyfriend girlfriend." I don't buy it until I see some dick in vagina. Do you think? I mean, to me, that's not. Hold on, I don't think it's unreasonable. That's a man's take. Right yeah, there. I, yeah. I mean, look. I mean, that's you know. It, I mean, it's clearly a sham relationship. Yeah. But even if they have sex, is it still transactional? Like, is it that are they gonna make money off of that? Is it a sham relationship in the sense that, like, do they talk to each other? You know what I mean? Is it all you think? You think you, you think that like Travis Kelsey is like on the phone with Taylor Swift, like twenty minutes? Like, you know, what do you, have you seen yeah, Oppenheimer? Think, yet? No, but they could have gone on a date or something. But that's bullshit. Know? Yeah, I suppose. I, I don't know. I think it's like, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, I thought I'm knowing nothing about her. And I found out, who was a woman you referenced yesterday? Olivia? Rodrigo? Boy, she's had the terrific career. I didn't realize till after the show yesterday. She hasn't she done well for herself? I looked her up. She's great. Uh, two, hmm? for two, two for two on albums, in my opinion. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I like that Coleman like, is pretending to be cool and Augustus, has been in actuality. He's a Star Wars guy. He's like, <laughs> people he's think like, he's a virgin. He's like Michael Cera in the Star Wars episode when, he, when he's playing in the uh, garage by himself. <laughs> <laughs> I think Justin's just happy to have a, a Star Wars person. When you said the last season of Clone Wars was good, Justin's head whipped over <laughs> excitement. He was sending he, YouTube oh, breaks was, last night. Was he really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. It was funny because at first, That's Justin kind of reacted like, Hey, buddy, I'm the Star Wars yeah, guy yeah, around here. Yeah. And then, but then when Coleman proved himself, he was like, all right, you're in. <laughs> well, Justin's first reaction with all of these guys, because he's so protective of the show, is to be like, yeah, get away from yeah. me. Yeah, is it, are you really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what were you saying about Ta- uh, uh, Taylor Swift? Oh, I just thought Taylor Swift was deeper than this, than Travis Kelsey. I don't know. It's like dating Gronk. I, I, don't, I don't know. I like Gronk, but I, I, don't, I don't get it. The criticism, criticism should be more on us for as a society for caring. Like the idea that they're like, is it fake or why are they putting us through? Oh, but, but, it's but not we, putting anyone through it. Who gives a shit? Well, we know that. I, but I'm not, I'm not, sp- I'm not, I'm not up at night worrying about it. But if we're going to talk about it, if Dan Katz is going to suggest that the two of them have a video together. But, but I, how, sure. which, I mean, if they sold that, if they, if oh, they sold I that mean, for nine ninety nine, like we did. Would they have more buys than we? I, I think they probably would. Be in that ballpark. It'd be, be in that fair, arena. To be fair, I think yeah. they would. But It'd probably his... leak, though. What do you mean? It probably, like, someone would buy would it. Would she wear that lipstick it, in the video? And then I wouldn't watch it. I don't, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I just don't like it. That might increase it up to 12 or something. It's for, for some, for, yeah, yeah, I'm all for fetishes. Look, if they both consensually did it, and, that, and to be clear, I think Dan Katz, while being very serious about the sex tape, because yeah. he is, you know, I'm friends with him, it's getting annoying. He right. calls me 10, 12 times a day. He's like, Do you going to do the sex tape? I'm like, Dan, she's like very famous. Why? It didn't, not, she has an odd young girl. They're not going to do it. Right. That. It's enough. And he's like, he's like, Do you think he'll like start off with him like stroking his dick in front of the camera? And she'll be like lying on the bed, like joking. How are they going to fuck? Do you think they'll yeah. fuck from behind? I'm like, Dan, this thing is not, but he's obsessed with it. Right. Will they, will they eat her out? And yeah. they get right, right down will to the Was she, yeah. she going to be a Carabas type situation where the asshole is? Uh, she's speculating all these things. A threesome. Yeah. Will Gus be involved? All these kind of things. <laughs> well, could, would you want, all right, how about this? Would it be better or worse if the sex tape between the two of them is in Augusta's bedroom with all that stuff around? Oh, that's much better, I think. Really? Tawdry, I think it's just filthy. Oh, it's just a pure carnal. It's like being in a dumpster. Yeah, yeah. just, just <laughs> too. I could see that. And like Kelsey grabs the bear at one point, rage. He's all fired up. I could, I why, see. why is this bear here? And she's like, she's like, tie me up. And he's like frantically searching for a belt. He's like, you can't find a fucking belt anywhere in this fucking place. And it becomes like a comedy. It's got yeah. everything. That is yeah, everything. Taylor's like, I have a makeshift belt. We yes. all laugh. It's fun. Like, how'd it go reaching out to uh, that woman who criticized Dan? She has not reached back yet. I find yeah. it hard to believe. I like the I like the initiative though. I'm all for that, Gus. Go for it. You never know. 
That's why I... Because we're all on our side. What Dan Katz is doing right now is a disgrace. Strong. It's enough already. He is obsessed with the, with the sex tape. Yeah. But at the point where he told me, he's not even watching the NFL anymore. <laughs> he's because he come around on Taylor being bigger than the NFL? No. No, I don't. I don't well, I don't know. I don't think so. He's not wrong, but I don't think so. Well, he's feeling it today from the Swifties, is all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah they're going How's it feel now, Dan? Doesn't feel like a niche audience, does it? No, yeah, yeah. How's your, yeah. Little, how's your podcast now, podcast <laughs> yeah. boy? The Swifties are going at the Army. I'd like to have his back, but, you know, again, he's, he's, he's texting me right now about it. He's like, he's like, he's like oh, it'll, you'll be funny if they had the Andy Reid picture from the punt, pass, and kick. And I'm like, how does that play into it? Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> be great You're a very Dan. successful guy. Like, what are you, why are you worried about this stuff? Dan follows them around with, like, erotic things. Like, try to, tries to right. get him in the mood. You yeah. Know? yeah, I don't even understand it. Like, it's just, it's sad. Because he's definitely, to be clear to the Swifties criticizing him. He is very clearly not being satirical about this. No, and he never has been. No, really. no, 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 no. On no, pardon no, my take. No, which Dan, is a mix of two. Big cat? No, no, <laughs> yeah. no. I, I've, I've never found him to be in my experience. No. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to avoid the sound because it's so troubling, but go ahead. We have to play. We're, we're, we're try, we try our best to be honest. Like, fine. You guys can have sex. You can be boyfriend, girlfriend. I don't buy it until I see some dick in vagina. Do you think? <laughs> is she preg- I'm saying that right now. Is she pregnant? P and V. I haven't seen her drinking at these games. I saw her drinking some she juice. P and V, otherwise it's not really. Drinking some juice. How big of a story would that be, Coleman? You're you're a young guy. Yeah. Gus, you're fairly... I think... Are you older than Mike, Gus? Mm, I think like by a year How old are you, Mike? 30, just turned 32. How old? You're 32 as well, I'll be right? turning 33 soon, yeah. Jeez. So a year. He keeps saying this. So a few days. Age. Hey, yeah. get ready. One year is a lot of difference. But it's... You're still the same age right now, though. Yeah. Okay. So you're about the same age. I think of you as younger than him. I look at Mike as more accomplished, which is <laughs> Thank horrific. you so much. <laughs> I even know what the, I even, I, I, this is something I think I've ever said before. I appreciate that. That's troubling. Um, uh, how big would the Taylor Swift pregnancy news be? Massive. Unbelievably big. massive. Like, Huge. People freak out. Would you out. do one of those videos like you did yesterday? <laughs> you'd be bouncing around. like You'd be like, hey, it looks like Taylor Swift's pregnant. Let's go. Let's I, don't, go there. I don't know if it's as huge as that bedroom, but right. uh, it'd be pretty big. I, compared to like... Rihanna being pregnant at the Super Bowl, like oh, I it remember would, that. It would yeah, be bigger yeah. than that. Yes, I, know, I never get that. Like, who gives a fuck? What, yeah. are, you, what are you doing? Why are you acting like no shit? That, no, I don't <laughs> care either. <laughs> but it's, I've never. Why, why are you even become cool? You, 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 Coleman's already the cool guy. But I like Taylor. You got to you you can't. You, you, you got to find your block now. I know it's a new world. It's three point right, 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 right. Mike Gary is struggling with three point. Who are you now? I don't even know. I don't know. Am I above them? Am I below? What do I do? You're searching. This is fucking pregnant. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck him. Grow up, America. Yeah. That's my I'm the Bill Maher of the show now. It's a guy who watches fucking Quincy every week. On uh, the new rule gang. Yeah. <laughs> this guy goes after stuttering John three days a week. He's, t- he's lecturing everybody what they care about. No, meaning like, I don't know. Like, do they think they're going to be involved with the child's life? Oh, they're not. You know we what know I mean? Like, crazy. what is the end they're game? They're crazy, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I'd like, I'd like to... I can't really criticize fans because I have fans like that. It's to a smaller degree of level. But like, I, but I, I think you know. it's interesting in this format because you talk about it on the show. It would be a subject throughout. You know what Kelsey's like, would talk about it on their podcast? Uh, yeah, but the people talking about it aren't. If, I mean, sure, if, if they're following the drama on Travis Kelsey's podcast, sure. I get it being an interesting subject. I mean right. more like if you're a fan of Taylor Swift's mu- music, why would you even know who she's dating? Like, see, I, blame, I don't get that aspect. See, I blame Dan for just having, now making Mike have this conversation. If Dan, <laughs> if Dan hadn't said this, Mike wouldn't be fucking... <laughs> be forced to have a take on this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mike is anti-pregnancy. <laughs> Thank you. He's pro somebody forcing pregnancy on somebody, but once they're... Yeah, it's a you different know, conversation. Listen, yeah, we understand. I think a uh, man on my side has proven his argument this week, and I'm proud of him. That's right. You're yeah. right. You're, uh, tip, tip of the cap to him. I think, right. although I don't know... Like, has anybody countered this? Like, is he just making this shit up? Putting her in his place. He's yeah. got nothing to say. Yeah, we're, but he won the case, right? We're talking about, uh, uh, what's his name? Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer. Yeah. Who released a video yesterday uh, where he basically, if you believe him, which I have no reason not to, pretty much exonerated him and said that this woman was a, was loony, right? It's about time. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, he was, was he suspended? I don't know anything about this. I think it was suspended and then just released. And I think he's a free agent right now. He was suspended for a long time, too. It was like yeah. two years, right? Right. That's but the suspension crazy. was like at least a year, the rest of the, that season or whatever it was. So what, he was, was there, why do you speak? Like, what was there, was there a legal reason why you couldn't speak till yesterday? I, I don't know. It sounds like it from his video. He was saying he yeah. had to wait two years to get it cleared. That's why he had to sue her to get the discovery because her right. lawyers held, withheld this information from her. Right, because she looks, I mean, she looks awful in this video. Like it's, if you want to go, go find it. It's a long thing, but go, yeah, go look it up. 
Not great. Uh, he was initially suspended 324 games. Ban was reduced to 194 by an independent arbiter in, arbitrator in December. That feels like a reasonable thing for Portnoy to do the big cat for this comment. Yeah. That's a, that, that's <laughs> a precedent sure. that yes. I think I could follow. Yeah, yeah, And that's why I think that he's not getting the roof ball thing in Chicago. <laughs> like, I really do. He said yesterday it's not happening. I think that's why. That's too bad. Well, I mean, you can't, you know. If you want to be satirical, go for it. But you can't be serious. Actions have consequences. Yeah, that was that was his moment. Like that was his dice clay and Arsenio Hall moment. Right. Like, I don't. I don't need that from Dan Katz. I need. I need him to joke around. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. I mean, demanding sex tapes is just it's it was for Cocta. You know, it's for the birds. What else we got today? Uh, so we have <coughs> uh, the Rodney Harrison uh, talking with Chris Jones, trying to get him to kind of slander Zach Wilson. Yes, um, I have Zach, that Wilson. Audio. Zach Wilson's the guy who has sex with everyone's mom. Is that him? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Is, what's his thing? He likes moms? He, uh, he banged his, his friend's mom or his mom's, mom's friend. friend? Yeah. yeah. Hey, fuck my mother. I'm <laughs> right. Hey, oh, that's yeah. back. Wow, good for him. <laughs> <laughs> I skipped the calling and error completely. <laughs> <laughs> Dust it off. Yeah, might be a deal with <laughs> All right, yeah, so Rodney Harrison and uh, uh, Jones, they were on the, on the pre-post-game show, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, this was weird. Was Zach better tonight than what you anticipated he would be watching him on tape? And you could be honest. Um, honestly, yeah. uh, if I'm being completely honest, we knew it was going to be a battle. He's continuing to get better week in and week out. And he's continued to lead week in and week out. But watching that tape, man, you got to look at this dude and say, oh, he is garbage. Like, we should <laughs> we should really tear him apart sure. earlier. Like I said, Zach Wilson is special, man. You just got to give the guy time. You know what wait, I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Did you say Zach Wilson is special? Yeah. I think he had a special night, but I don't think he's special. I've got to prove that over. You're special because you proved it over a course of time. All right. he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but did do you have the other one too, Booger McFarlane? Do you have that? Uh, I don't think so. I can grab it. Right or basically, he was like Zach Wilson's <clears throat> not good because he's like had a bunch of privilege as a kid. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Which is weird. <laughs> yeah. Which is a big reason why. Honestly, it's true. It's why Peyton Manning flamed out after a year in the NFL. I found because his dad was a you know rich athlete as a kid. Yeah. That's why. That's why Eli too. I don't think they ever. I don't know if Eli ever played in the NFL. Like, it's just like, it's just like, a, I don't even understand that. Like, cause he's rich. Like, I don't, does that mean Deion Sanders? I bet you he's not saying Deion Sanders kid is going to stink. Right. right? I, I, I don't, what is that? I don't even get that. I don't know. What is the like controversy with Rodney Harrison? Like, that seemed like a pretty, I'd like more announcers to be. Yeah, say that although I feel it felt it felt like forced though to me a little bit. Like, look how like, I'm, you know, that's how I've always felt with Rodney Harrison. Who I, we used to come on my show every week and stunk. So oh, maybe it's because right? I hate him. Yeah, but he's, he's, yeah. Yeah, people are saying he should be fired. I'm like, well, why? I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> As anyone said, he's like Zach Wilson's a great quarterback. That's been the whole criticism. Yeah, we we we're now the Twitter. I think X has flipped everything so much you can't even be critical anymore. Like if if it, if somebody goes after an athlete, like That's an announcer the does, now. then yeah, they yeah, become yeah. like an asshole. I'm like, well, Ronnie Harris is an analyst. Like, I mean, whatever. He's obviously purposely trying to poke the bear. He knew Jones wasn't going to say anything, but yeah. whatever. Like it's, I didn't. Yeah, I never been. Probably. I've noticed that is worse on Twitter now too, because now the trending stories aren't like news. It's just like uh, there's no rhyme or reason to why things are trending. It's weird. Yeah, is that is an X thing? You think is that like a Musk thing? I, I guess. Even, yeah. I, I have no Mine idea. Mine hasn't switched, by the way. What I still mean? have Twitter. Do you really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Do you have the app? Yeah. I feel like you can sell your phone like with that and it's kind of valuable right now. You should do that, Mike. Ooh, all right. Yeah, you should do that. So I'll take Gus. He needs a oh, you have a phone. I have a phone. Okay. Someone just has my Twitter now. <laughs> Why don't you call call Karen uh, Augusta after the show? She'll buy you a couple of... <laughs> what did he say? A couple of what? Uh, pull a few strings? Pull, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pull, pull, yeah. Put some strings yeah, in my Yeah, you maybe mind. get a phone out of it. <laughs> do you have the Booger McFarlane one? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Yourself. You gave him the shovel booger to bury him by saying no in that post game and not taking accountability. You know, you, you mentioned one word accountability. Let's understand who this young man is before we ask him to accept accountability. He's a young man who grew up with a lot of money. I don't think he's ever had to accept accountability. And so now on the biggest stage, we want this quarterback to accept. Hold on. Like, uh, to Mike's point, I'm fine if somebody wants to be an analyst and say things. But yeah. then if it's something stupid, you should be able to say it's stupid. With a lot of yeah. money. I don't like, understand. That's a spectac that. yeah. spectacularly stupid. You know, like Tom Brady's dad did very well in business. Right. Like Brady had money growing up. Like he's a pretty driven. Who gives a shit? Right. <laughs> Why would you even look at it that way? It's a pretty driven. Now, I, I understand like there is something to having to go through stuff growing up. And like, you know, I totally get that. But Certainly. I, I don't know if you list the 10 greatest quarterbacks of all time. I'm mean, going to guess half of them grew up from with, with some means, at least. Right. I, you know, I but even know. the way he's saying it, it's almost as if 
the underprivileged would be like top draft pick. Like you'd look for that in someone to be like grow also, up in poverty or something. But also like he expects somebody who didn't grow up with money to be more likely to give a reporter some bullshit answer that they want to hear after a game. Because right. he's like, he's yeah. like, when they ask a reporter, ask a question, he's like, yeah, I, got, I mean, so if he grew up like with no money, he'd be, and who gives a fuck? What does that have to do with anything? Right. I mean, again, I, whatever. I mean, it's, he's, he's a moron too. We just like, yeah, but it's just like, I don't know, who knows? I don't know. I, by the way, I've never seen, I don't, oh, I watched some of that Jets Patriots game. Zach Wilson is terrible, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's because he's rich. Didn't well, he have a good rookie year, though? Wasn't he? Oh, who cares? Why am I saying? What the fuck do I know? Yeah. Like, is the guy, what are you talking about? Like, he traded for Rodgers, so he couldn't have been that good, right? No, I guess not. I guess I don't know. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. Are you trying to rap sports with the kids? <laughs> Jesus, Mike. God. Turn my hat backwards. It's like a skateboard the next show. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get here today? I Ubered. Oh, Gus. I offered. I offered. Yeah, offers That's were disgraceful. They, they did. No, they, they did. Offered they, offered. they offered. You turned him down. I did. Why is that? You're well, I looked at it as Justin and Dave offered me a ride. They're more my friends. They, they came out of their way to grab me. I'm not going to make these guys. The more shows of these guys, then you become friends with them, right? Yeah, I'd probably eventually. F I also don't love the idea of Gus having my home address. You know. <laughs> well, if you've noticed, That's why I if, you, if you've noticed, Gus, <laughs> yeah, thank you. If you know this, <laughs> Gus, you don't have my phone number yet. I, I haven't asked for it. Yes, well, I know that, <laughs> but but uh, Coleman has my number. Gus is not my number yet. I do have Coleman's number. I'll give him mine at some point. But yeah. Who, Gus? No, Coleman. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, Coleman, I think, I think you're okay with. Gus, yes. I, I don't need that in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which leads, by the way, to a phone conversation I had yesterday that I also did not get my phone number up to. <laughs> so uh, uh, Coleman texted me, and Colleen texted me almost at the same time, like the signal had been put out, Jesus, okay. that <laughs> Peltier wanted to talk to me. Yeah. So, fine. So when I have a sit down. It's like the diner scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we met up. <laughs> but we're just a couple of fellows here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I called him. I was like, what's the, what the hell's going on here? Uh, and he wasn't angry at all. He, I saw you blocked me on Twitter. I, tw I, I tweeted that out. Yeah. And, and so I, I was like, I said to him, like I said in the show yesterday, because I know you like him too. I was like, I don't really quite get what's going on. I feel bad. Like if it's somebody I hate, I'd be like, fuck, who gives a fuck? You know? Right. Uh, he's a good guy. And I know, like I said, he's had his ups and downs and struggles with stuff. So I said, look, like if you're mad, you're mad. Fine, no problem. But I want you to know am I in? Like zero hard feelings. Like we, if we did something you have an issue with, let me know. Now, if it's bullshit, I might say it's bullshit, but I like to talk about it. Sure. And it seems to me, he said he had no, the thing that he kept alluding to with Cullinane about how he was mad about something, it was more that he was embarrassed, I think, and he may have to correct this next time he's here, that he had to back out of the wedding. So I think he just, his embarrassment took over. And he kind of overreacted, which happens, yeah. I, I, which is oh, fine. It sounded more like I asked him about it this morning. Oh, yeah, he was here today, right? It sounded more like he overreacted to what you said on the show. Like when you kind of uh, started going in like going in on him a little bit, he took it, because that's probably the first time he's dealt with being criticized on yeah. a podcast. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, and I, I said, it happens to the best of us, buddy. Like, he, I think he overreacted. Yeah, it happens. And then it he, all, he, again, was a little vague about that. He's hard to get, like, a direct well, That's the other thing is I think yeah. it's, yeah, about what? But uh, so he was talking about being at the the bar or wherever they were yeah, yeah. in Saco, and it sounded like he was kind of saying like people were egging him on a little bit, like "Hey, are you pissed?" or yeah, whatever. And so he kind of fed into that. I could I see think. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, it seemed totally fine. I'm unblocked. More importantly, now I get to follow his great tweets. But he seems fine, now, and he'll be here in the future. So I think we've we we're okay with John Pelletier. Thank he God. did seem a little down even still today, though. I mean, he made a joke when he walked. It's kind of but, his demeanor. Yeah. But at the end of the conversation, I made a joke. He laughed, so we were good. I, like I said, I genuinely like the guy. Like, he's, you know, he's nuts, but he's a good guy. He's a great fan. He's been everywhere. So I, I don't like losing people like that. So right. I think we're okay. I was very surprised at how thin that was. Like, how paper thin it was. To listen to this show be criticized once. Because it wasn't a well, long... Like, how many times have we done this, though? Over the I, 50, but I, 100 people? That, that happens but that, all that, the time. That's a guy that's at every... Like, you know, he's I know. going to lunch at Milton's and he's there. Well, again, <laughs> you know? I, again I want to keep relations with John strong. But, I, you know, I don't think that's a solo act. Okay. It's, it's purely speculation. Yeah. And he did mention to me also uh, he, how... Re I didn't realize how recently his divorce was. Right. Yeah, you mentioned that as well. Yeah, so I, yeah. I, that, that makes a little more sense. I, I guess. I guess, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, but once he said, he, as I said to him, I was like, why don't you say you want to get married? Like, I, get, I have no problem with that. I don't right. care. Like, the whole, you know, it's not. And you watched it. I do think that actually would have been sort of an oh, I think it would have, the show. It, the only way you could have done it is like, if it started with, right. you know, you get them and then never mentioned again. Like, I in a way, way like, in a weird way, like, uh, the wedding kind of was, it, it, it 
the merchant thing. Like, it was just kind of out of the way. Yeah. Like, we were doing our thing. We were just kind of there. Like, there's no reason to really be there other than just to get there together and yeah. do that. So. And can I say the opening uh, intro, whatever you call that, mm-hmm. that, that was John from Scranton. Very said? well done, right? Probably should have just hired him. That's the best thing. I thought it was like Barstool people or something. I was like, there's no way that was Dave, you know? Oh, no. That, no, that was no, very no we knew that. No, yeah. of course. No, he, he did. Yeah, John did a great job. I'm hearing it now. I was very, I was hurt to hear that, um, that Dave said I was mean to him the last month. And then when I said that right there, I was like, oh, maybe I was. Yeah, you turned into <laughs> Steve toward you like you did toward Dave. I didn't. I didn't get that at all. Once, I, once, once Dad kicked Dave down a little bit, you you saw the opening. You jumped in. Yeah, I never. I never thought I was you're like, a mean to him. Yeah, you're. Bully. I was surprised to hear that. You're, you're, did you reach out to him? Uh, I t- I texted him and said I'll miss our rides as well, buddy. Oh, there you go. Did he get back to you or not? He did. Yeah, you're perfect. Great. Fantastic. Yes. But even talking to Colin yesterday about the Pelletier thing before I talked to Pelletier. Even then, I was like, Dave, what are you talking about? Like, can you crystallize it? I'm like, why am I still asking him this question four years later? He's not going to be able to do it. So, but, uh, but yeah, so I think, I think we have moved past the, uh, that stage of the Pelletier thing. So right. we're good. I think we're good. Very good. good. Yeah. What else, boys? Um, we're cool on the booger thing. Um, mean girls are coming back. Oh, yeah. I saw yeah. this. You see this, Mike? Uh, yeah. They were telling me before the show. They're working at Olive Garden. I saw from their photograph. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I like Alex. You know that. Mm-hmm. I don't quite know. Walk me through this, Mike. I might have Alex's number. Maybe she'll talk to us. I have hers if we want. Oh, give her a call. Cool. Well, I suggested uh, Coleman should put out a podcast called "Why I Left Barstool." That's true. <laughs> Just all the laid-off employees should. That's get true. I mean, look at this Portnoy quote tweeting this BSS one two three four five six one guy. Mm. A lot of people say it's Portnoy's burner. It's not going after Dan Katz. I'm glad Dave's putting his foot down. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Your call has been tough. Okay. Ah, you know, I like Alex. I don't quite know what's going on, so. They have released, I won't say it was, a barstool person. I will not give the barstool person away for protection's sake. One of like eight people sent me this message that the Mean Girls put out, and they just put, this made me gasp. <laughs> gasp? Gasp, yes. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Uh, mean Girl Pod, this is, I guess, on Instagram? Coleman, I was, I was Instagram? looking on Twitter. Okay, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is Instagram. I'm not on. You guys on? You're on Instagram, right, Coleman? Yeah, I'm a, I I have the uh, our account, our show account. He's sure, a, of course. He's a little young for for yeah. Instagram though. That's where the old codgers go. Is your know? what is your what is your go to social media? If you go Twitter, to, that's the only. If you had to pick one, that yeah. Would be what would be second? Uh, TikTok, I guess. TikTok, yeah, yeah. yeah like my daughters, my son, my, they love. TikTok. Actually, YouTube. If YouTube counts, like I'll I'll like watch YouTube in bed to go to sleep and stuff. As do I. Yeah. Watch roller coaster videos. I do. Yeah. Right before I read a little. Dude, what'd you read last night? I uh, didn't read last what night. What are you laughing You're at? You're 23. <laughs> what? <laughs> Reading, reading's cool, all right? I have some chamomile and I uh, doze off to a nice... I'm looking at you. You're a bully. You're such an asshole. But there's Cullinane. You just bully these producers. It's unbelievable. Just leave him alone. It's a kid. <laughs> Jesus, God. What'd, what'd you read last night, Coleman? Didn't read last night, but currently... And I think I've brought this up in the past, but I'm currently reading through uh, Lincoln Highway and the second Game of Thrones book. Okay. Lincoln mm-hmm. Highway's... Kind of like a recent New York Times. I know it's cool. Yeah. Come on, I'm a big reader. Oh, I, I'm I mean, explaining for the others in the room. Well, I don't care about that. <laughs> you think Augustus is going to read a book? <laughs> now he's talking down to me. Mike's blind and Augustus <laughs> has never read a book in his life. Right? Alex, Alex is calling back. Oh, put, put her on. Yep. Hello. One sec. Coleman. Hey, Alex, you're live to tape for Kirk Minahan's show. Alex, it's Kirk Minahan. Hi, Kirk. How are you? Good. Are you uh, able to talk for a few minutes? Well... Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me step. Let me step outside one second. Where are you? Inside. Um. Thank you, Mike. What? Where, where are you? I'm at a coffee shop. Oh, okay. One sec. Take one your sec. Hold on. It's a maze. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's taking a 15 minute break. It's not nice, but... All right. Hi, guys. Hello. So yeah. what is so Coleman's our producer now, and he sent me this information about you. So. You're, 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 hell yeah, Coleman, he got the job? Yes, he got the yeah. job. Hell <laughs> hell yeah, he got the job. <laughs> Good to know you're keeping Congrats, up with Barstool. Coleman, well, well just, what is, so what is going, am I seeing, so somebody sent me a thing, you're doing like four nights somewhere, like you're like Springsteen or something? I'm, I, the whole thing is confusing me. I, I don't understand any of this. 
Okay, what, well, what do you not understand? Well, it's four different nights at the same place. You're going to do like one topic each night? Yes. Okay. The first one is, was why you left Barstool, right? Yes. But don't we know why you left Barstool? I don't know. You just say pack your bags. You, 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 you don't. But wasn't it like all, all set on like Kevin? She's like, what am I missing? Give me, a, give me a hint. Is somebody you know? No, we, I'm in the business of sales now, Kirk. I can't tell you. You got to come to the show. Well, I'm like, I won't be doing that. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if others do, that's fine. Well, I mean, like, is, put it this way: is there something big that that we don't know about? I'm trying to help. I guess I'm helping you out here. I'm promoting this. Yeah. Then the answer is yes. Really? Yeah, I can't tell you though. You got to come to the show or listen to it afterwards. Okay. Again, I won't be doing that. But is there somebody, is there somebody at Barstool who you really hate who's going to get called out for this that we don't know about? How about that? Decline to answer. Mm, that sounds like maybe a no. Yeah, it sounds like a fake tease. Or yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. But everything's good. You're okay. I saw your video this week, and somebody sent it to me. You were eating salad and crying or something. I hope you're okay. Eating salad and crying. Yeah, there's some video where you got, you found out oh, that you had to pay alimony I or something. I posted or... that. I deleted that. I should not have posted that. It was so up. What do you want me to say? It was up. You were crying no, and eating no, no, salad. No, no, it's fine. No, 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 no. I wasn't, cry I wasn't crying. Oh. I think I was just like, look, you know, looking a bit dull. No, I'm totally fine. I'm actually like quite happy. I, I, can I just say, I, I mean, look. Elated. I, good. I, I hope everything's good. You know, I like you. We get, we've always got along once we, you know, after Absolutely. that fight. Absolutely. I, yes. I, 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 so we're, I can't like the Gramster anymore or is that, cause he was a big Minna fan. He's out. We, we can't like him anymore. No, of course we can like Graham. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, we well, always I, like Graham. We always like Graham. We wow. still like Graham. Yes. Okay. I don't know. It seemed like you were, cause you got to kick up to him now, you know, a couple hundred bucks every week. I didn't know, I didn't know the situation. No, you know, that was like, um, that was a short sighted video, but no, ultimately Graham is the absolute best and. All okay. is well in the world. Did you see all the comments on the pictures of the two of you in your white outfits and everyone said you look like you worked at Olive Garden? I was offended by it myself. Oh, oh, no, I didn't I didn't read the comments. Yes, yes, yes. They it, say we look like, oh man, expensive Olive Garden outfits. I like okay. I like Olive Garden, so I'm I'm not complaining. I, I love the breadsticks. breadsticks. Yeah, endless. So what so what is the situation? Oh, what was I gonna ask? With the um with Jordan. There was the uh oh, I had a question. Coleman, you haven't you, do you how do you know Alex? Uh, mother knows best. Oh, that's right. Of course. That's right. And your mom's your mom's far gone, long gone from the bar store. Took cookies and went home. Yes, yes, the cookies went home. Okay. All right. It's too bad. Fine. But we well, always loved Coleman. Like, I'm actually really glad you hired him. He's perfect. Yeah, and I was, like I said, I always said this about Alex. Oh, this is what I was going to ask. Thank you. Alex, the one thing I liked about Alex the whole time with the thing a year, whenever that was, a year and a half ago, totally on the mm -hmm. joke, like completely the entire time. Uh, others weren't on her, on her team, including... Kelly Keegs. Now, I would ask you, you haven't really responded. Do you hate her? Do I hate Keegs? Yes. Not at all. I thought that that was a really well orchestrated whole thing. I thought the blog, well, I, didn't, I never read the full blog, but no, I don't hate Keegs at all. <laughs> well, why'd you go? Why did you, <laughs> good at her job. why did you guys take off after that? That's my quote. Well, I guess you'll talk about this at your thing, but am I, so she's not the person you hate at Barstool who you're going to bring up at this thing. No, why would I hate Keegs? I don't fucking that was know. so long ago. I, I don't know. That's part of it. You said, when you work at Barstool, you sign up for that. No, I don't hate well, at all. Yeah, but it seems like it, well, it seems like your partner might have been a little more sensitive about. It. Is that fair criticism or no? No, I don't think so at all. It can, for me, it just came at like a when it rained, it poured kind of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, all right. you know, like I was just like, oh god, I can't, I couldn't even like function. So you, that that you, was just kind of like stuck. You were gonna be on my show when I was in New York, and then you left that day. You remember that we messaged, and you were gonna be on the show. I know I was going to come on the show, but I was, you know, I was no longer renewed. You never responded. I was not out in the building well, anymore. You never responded. It was hurtful. We always got along, but. Well. I, it was a ghost. I ghosted you. I'm yes. sorry. Well, Graham would never do that, but whatever. It's, he it's, wouldn't. He would friends. not. He might. All right, well, I, mean, I don't know. All right. So no, no salad eating and no crying. That's it, until these live shows. Is that what you're saying? No, not in general. No, no crying ever. Okay. All right. So, all right. Well, I, well keep in touch. Coleman's here now. You're all, you're always welcome here. Well, you may hate people at Barstool. This is a safe place for you. Absolutely not. I don't know. I don't hate people at Barstool, and well, I know that it's a safe place. So thank you, Kirk. All right. Goodbye, Alex. See you later. Okay. Bye, guys. There you go. Hmm. She was in a lot, a lot of social media posts that she's like, yeah, I regret posting that. Yeah, I <laughs> give her that. Like, <laughs> and somebody, somebody said that to me. Where she, a couple people tweeted that to me where she was eating salad, and it was basically like, when you find out that you're, you have to pay your. Do you see this, Coleman? I'm not sure, but in general with Alex, there's a lot of TikToks she'll do that, like, I don't understand at all. Yeah, she's yeah, like, like, like you find hugging. A, and you the... finally have to pay your ex-husband alimony, even though 
you thought he had more money or something. Right. Because I think she must have thought that she married like it doesn't work that way. Like right. you, you, it's his money, not his dad's money or whatever. I'm sure there was some sort of prenup, right? I am very sure. There was <laughs> yeah, some kind okay. Of prenup. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's just like nothing against. I I like Alex. Like you can tell she's a good sport. Right. I, I hope they do well. I you know I think Dave does too. I don't think there's any hard feelings. I don't think. But four nights at some bar. Do you see this, Coleman? First night, I don't even understand it. Yeah, th so it's uh, why we left Barstool night one. Night two, Jordan's relationship status. Oh, blow my brain. <laughs> that's that, that's going to fill an hour, hour and a half? Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> two hours? <laughs> well, that's the thing. This other guy, uh, I'll shout him out, at Eddard Crack with uh, two Ks there. I don't have to shout anybody out, Coleman. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> um, I would rather fuck Gus's dog than go to fucking find out about Jordan Woodruff's relationship. <laughs> well, that's what this guy said. He, he quote tweets it and goes, for night one, they didn't renew your contracts prior. You didn't leave. Done. Night two, single. You're still on hinge. Done. Night three, what's next for us? He goes bankruptcy. Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> night four, Alex's relationship status. Probably divorced by Graham. Hope he had a prenup and can finally have a guy's trip alone. Oh, well. I mean, Graham wasn't allowed to masturbate. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm a Graham guy, by the way. Did you know Graham Bennett? I never got to meet him, but I always liked uh, the cut of his jib. I He's guess. a Minifan, Mike. You know that. Of course. Good guy. So, I mean, maybe we can do like when they date with, I don't know. When Joanne and Pelletier break up, maybe Graham dates her. That'd Who's be interesting. to say? I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. Who knows? I don't know. I like Graham. <laughs> I think we could bring him in as a fourth chair next to Mike. Yes. Uh, yeah, I guess we could, Gus. I suppose so. Fourth. Who's the other? Who's the, who's oh, the other? third. Sorry. Do <laughs> you think yourself was the third? No, chair? I was going to say Coleman. I, I don't know. <laughs> I was in the Coleman one. Clearly, morning. have this seat. You you were thinking third mm. chair. But they have a say what you want about them. Like they always get a reaction. Like obviously, it wasn't my show. I wouldn't listen to it. It's not for me. But they have a huge like Instagram. Like Dave was saying, they have like six seven hundred thousand followers on Instagram. Yeah, I, I, right. I, I, I said so. Here's the thing. So there's it's, there's something. I mean, there's money to be made there. Uh, I didn't know a lot of people that listened to Call Her Daddy either. No. Not, and I'm not saying it's Call Her Daddy level. But I was going to say, like, I don't know anyone that listens to their... I've heard of people, like, finding their clips and shit. But yeah. I don't know people that listen to it. Like, I wonder what their audience is like. It's a clip show. Yeah. Is, is essentially what it breaks down to. Yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. Well, you're going to do these shows in a bar, like, in clips. So you but, stop it for right. 10 <laughs> seconds and, like... <laughs> I, I, it's almost more uh, in, like, a, wash your like hands? a meet and greet <laughs> type situation. You so it's not going to be like a show. Yeah. I, I, I assume they do, you know, some rhetoric to some extent. But, uh... Yeah, it's more just meet and greet and have a couple of drinks. Colin Aime would be perfect to be the producer. He of really would. Like, yeah. He was born he to produce that show. That. Yeah. Yeah. I should tell her that. Oh, that would be great. You should tell her that. would be awesome. Oh, that'd be good. That would be incredible. I, I, mean, want he, to, I want Colin Aime to get that job. He probably wouldn't have to move for that. Would he? I don't know. So what show did you produce with Content Kim? Yeah, Mother Knows Best. So it was... Kim and Alex, they used to call it because I said so, I think. Mm -hmm. um, sure. Once I got on, we rebranded the thing. The KKK? Boy. <laughs> no, yeah. that was not me. <laughs> that wasn't you? Okay. No, no. Homeless always throw people under the bus. John yeah. Rich, whoever it is, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I started yeah. by getting Francis fired from Fox News. Then I started, <laughs> yeah. then I started the KKK podcast. I like him. He's quietly got some kills. <laughs> what would they talk about? Like just mother and daughter stuff? Yeah, Kim started to have like some guests on. It was more so to integrate Kim into the rest of the office. So like having on other people in oh, the office like, to kind of like, like day the beers or big cat or whoever yeah big cat gotcha. gft gotcha you know, gotcha kfc yeah i gotta go back and listen to all those at yeah, some point. yeah sure. definitely it's <laughs> she hated me oh yeah hated me Cole. yeah yeah oh you knew no that. i remember yeah yeah she wasn't play i mean i get it like but like i was making fun of her daughter but i was trying to sell pay you know i was just trying to sell pay-per-views yeah I don't yeah but also her daughter didn't mind it's what you know she what i mean I, I guess you get protective or whatever but yeah, I, yeah alex played along with it yeah i thought so what else coleman i did find it interesting that alex didn't find it weird that coleman was calling her She's like, hey, what's going on? We're, we're what, do you, what do you mean by that? I don't know. I'm just saying. They must have some kind well, of... She's single. Yeah, that's what I'm throwing it out there. Yeah. Maybe we'll cool. find out on night four. Or do you prefer older women, Coleman? Not Alex, necessarily. I don't mind. I, I think there's a cutoff. What's your cutoff? Probably say like... Uh, like 30-ish. Okay, that's good. See, when I asked Justin that yesterday, he said two. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's too old. Quickly, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. It's the worst. <laughs> you have to put that second candle on... Moving on. Yeah. Let's, you blow your candle. I'm getting the fuck out of here. 30, huh? And you're 23? Yeah. How about on the other end? All kidding aside. On the other end, probably... 14. No, no, like 20, 21. 20, you couldn't date somebody who's like a teenager. I've always gone... So my brother, I have a brother. He's two years younger than me. What's his name? If I'm Chris. Chris. Chris Coleman. Coleman. Yeah. That's a good Chris, name, too. That's a base dealer's Magician. Name. He's a magician. I beg your pardon? He's a magician. 
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's the man. The absolute man. Chris Coleman's a professional magician? Yeah, so... Uh, oh, Mike. This is the nerdiest see, family. See, Mike, it doesn't take, it doesn't, it doesn't take long. No, no. Gus, we got Gus's bedroom yesterday. Now we got... Chris, is it, will he be the show magician? Sure. I mean, Did he's, you do he's in I New York. Him. He's in New York. He's in school still, uh, wrapping up. But he does. So is he, he is he in magic school? No. no. Oh, okay. he went, <laughs> someday. So, <laughs> with any luck. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so he's technically been doing magic since he was like four years old. Right. Oh, one second. I'm gonna like when he comes in. He's like, oh, Mike, you'll something behind the ears. <laughs> uh, he will. <laughs> hey, will he? Yeah, hundred percent. Like, wow. So magic will make you see. <laughs> He's a magician, not Jesus. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, so since four, he's been, what, do you have a magician name? When I was a kid, I don't know if I told this story, I did magic tricks. Oh. So I was like nine or 10 years old under the name Kirk the Magnificent. Ooh. Really? This is true. Yes, yes, yes. I, there's still, I think my aunt saw video of that. Kirk the Magnificent. Kirk the <laughs> Magnificent. What was your signature trick? Uh, I had like a magic, like, I, I would get like these little, like, Kits. Gifts like kits, yeah. yeah. So it'd be like the you know the fucking thing with the flag, or yep. something would disappear. The thing right. with the, the three you know, balls in the cups. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and then abracadabra. Yeah. And like my parents would be like, "What the fuck?" You know, my dad would be like, "Just fucking play basketball." Enough. Yeah. So Coleman's kind of the Michael Bluth of his family. It seems like he's that's got- twice we said that today. <laughs> Is that <laughs> too- <laughs> we, 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 We've got uh, we have, no. He's he'd be Job, Chris. Chris would be. Yes. Chris yeah. would be Job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Coleman's I'm Mike. This, this Coleman, yes. Well, no, I was saying Coleman is like. Uh, uh, George Michael with the with the Star oh, Wars. Oh right, thing. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, Sound of Silence just follows me everywhere. That's right. There you go. So so Chris, so walk me through a Chris Coleman routine. Does, uh, he, does he do magic at home and the Colemans are together? Oh yeah. He, and everyone just like, everyone fit. just kind of like, well, all right, here we go. So, no, well, so sometimes we'll be like watching TV or something. He'll pick up something new and just kind of saunter in, incorporate it, come down and just. Yeah, you want like to, what? You guys want to see this? Uh, oh, you won't do it to surprise you guys. No, I mean sometimes. Yeah, sure. That's the best part. Yeah, I would he, like that. Would he ever storm out of the room and a puff of smoke would appear? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Ben Stiller on this rest of the no. Tony Wonders, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, he. So he works at uh, FAO Schwartz in the city. Okay. And does magic there. So he's okay. like actually like. We're sure he's not a creep though, right? No. Okay. Very okay. nice. Uh, like okay. actually very normal, very okay. nice guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he does magic at FAO Schwartz? Yeah. They pay him to do that? Yes. He travels for them. Uh, it's like. Is, Mark- that what, is that what he wants to do when he's done with college? No. I th- he So he also acts and does different shows. He's, in a, theater per- he's, and a, he's yeah. a performer. He's a performer for sure. I like this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's a great kid. Good Love guy. Him. Yeah. He's 20. Uh, just turned 21. What does that have to do with him dating somebody? How do we get there? How do we get I here? I don't know. You said oh, you had a older brother. Older women, younger. You said, oh, you said oh, yeah, younger brother. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I said about dating younger women. Yeah, exactly. So always having him two years behind me, I always felt like it was Could weird go to younger go than younger than his brother. That's grade. reasonable. Right. Yeah. And your brother was probably the ladies' man, given his... I would think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He struggled a little bit. Justin's, but. Like, Justin's like, please, can you please turn this girl of legal age? Please, Chris, <laughs> can you do, you do your trick? <laughs> I'm going to make these laws disappear. <laughs> Abracadabra consent. <laughs> Jeez, well, I like that. All right, yeah. what else? Um, we have a we uh, update on Humunga Cowabunga that that wedgie story. Oh, good. So, I, I just see this message we got. Which one? I saw somebody message the show and said there was like a real serious injury. Did you see yes. that? Yeah. Yes. A lot of bleeding. Internal like, bleeding. Internal yeah. bleeding. Oh. And apparently she had to go to a like emergency gynecologist. Jeez. So it, I'm thinking it just went straight up front end. Yeah. The bad news for her was the emergency gynecologist was Chris Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> is there a rabbit in there? <laughs> Please. Is there a real doctor? <laughs> We're going to have to cut you in half. <laughs> See this rabbit? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> so, all right. Well, fifty thousand dollars then seems reasonable. Well, I don't, I don't know where I stand this because you know the rules when you get on a ride like that. But the thing was, she uh, she adhered to all the rules. So she like did the feet cross thing and talked. Right. But then, but how do we know that though? She said it, she's saying that. yes in yeah, an article. So, it was either her or her lawyer said this. But, but you know when you're going down those things fast, it's hard to. But that's the thing. She said she hit the end of the slide and kind of bumped into it, and then I guess spread open a little bit. Oh, boom! Jesus Christ! Yeah. Nice. This is at Disney. Yeah. Uh, What's it ta- called again? Typhoon Lagoon. The <laughs> Humunga Cowabunga. Humunga Cowabunga. They should rename it to the Atomic Wedgie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I mean, at this point. That'd be fun. Yeah. Jeez. I thought everything had like a Disney name. Is that, I, that could be a Disney thing. I have no I idea. I just always thought Cowabunga was Bart Simpson. Is that wrong? Am I wrong? Oh, yeah. That, I mean, it's Cowabunga a Bart Simpson is, phrase, yeah. but it's also a, a word. 
No, I know, but I know what I, I've no. I don't know. Probably really. Lilo and Stitch because I was in Hawaii. Would be my only guess. You actually know the answer. You just no. I, I'm just taking know. a guess. That's the okay. only Disney movie. Okay, there's no way to find that out, out, right, Gus? I think there could be. Okay, fucking look it up. Jesus. Cowabunga was first popularized on Howdy Doody. In yes, the 1950s. I only guess a Disney thing. I don't and know. Uh, Ninja Turtles, I guess, would be the other. Oh one. right, yeah. right. Which is not Disney, also. Yeah. I don't know. That movie did very well, by the way. I watched it. Yeah. You saw the new one? Yeah, actually, yeah. Kind in of the theater? Movie. No, just streaming. Like legally or no? No, legally on okay. like uh, Paramount Plus. It's oh, it was now. good. Yeah, for an animated movie. Yeah, yeah. Seth mind. Rogen, right? Yeah, he. Yeah. Uh, I I think he wrote it or directed it. Or... It's interesting that Seth Rogen. I think we talked about this. Is like I understand he's doing that, but it's a cartoon. Clearly, he's in this. Uh, the other new one. Um, Which one? Is it the game? Not the GameStop one. He's in the new oh, one. Uh, dumb, oh, uh, dumb, uh, dumb money, dumb money. Yeah. yeah, dumb money. He was in the Fablemans last year. Like he's. I actually like that he's. I think the Beale Boys might have said this first, huh? But I think I like that he's. Like, I don't really need to be, like, the goofy stoner, like, guy anymore. Well, like, I, I like that in as long... Because he, he wouldn't make funny movies anymore. You right. know what I mean? Like, if he tried to be what he was 10 years ago, he's not, clearly. Right. So he's, he's, he's abandoned. What's that? He, he makes some, like, uh, weed-related pottery, basically. Right. He's very into that stuff, yeah. Yeah. But, like, he kind of just abandoned the, like, hilarious Seth Rogen. Like, right. when I was in high school, he was the, the guy. Huge comedy He was star. our right. Jim Carrey or Adam Sandler. But, like, you see Will Ferrell now in, like, the Barbie movie, and you're like, oh. Brutal. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice to see somebody at least try and, you know, do what, like, Steve Carell did or even Jim Carrey did it for a while. Where you at least try it. Right. It may not, you know, I don't know. He's very good in the Fablemans. Sure. Like, he's, you know, a Spielberg movie. It's it's a real, you know, so. It seemed weird. I'm surprised that Dumb Money movie got him because it didn't seem like there were a ton of, is it? I think he might have produced it. Okay. I think maybe that might be under his, I think I might have read that. I could right. be wrong. Because it didn't I seem think. like a lot of stars or am I wrong? Um, There's, there's some, uh, not huge stars, but like Paul, Paul Dano's Dano. in yeah. it. They were, yeah. they were in the Fablemans together. Um, uh, What's her name? Is in it? Um... I know you're talking. Not about a now. huge star, but like a like a yeah. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, what's her name? Uh, Shal Shalani Woodley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aaron Rodgers' old girlfriend. Okay. Pete Davidson's apparently in it. Oh. What's that? Pete Davidson, Sebastian Stan. That's what I mean. It's like that kind of. It's like he's America like doing the independent movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, Isn't Dave supposed to be in it? Or I thought I heard. that. Yeah, he's in it, right? Isn't yeah, there, yeah. I think he is. That's what I heard. Oh, interesting. And he also doesn't have any tumbles in this house. I, I learned. Yeah. yeah, it's a lie. Yeah, what was this? Fake news. Fake That's media. Disappointing. Yeah. Oh no shit. What's the last movie you saw in the theater, Gus? Uh, the theater, I think it was one of the... Uh, I can't remember. Take it, take I, might have been the Mario movie, actually, when <laughs> I first came out. Okay. What are you laughing at, Gus? Yeah. What's wrong with that? That just makes perfect Made sense. Made $500 million. <laughs> I, I, I watched it, too. It was great. There was was a, it good or no? Uh, for a like Mario Nintendo fan, yeah. Do you like I, it, Gus? I like yeah, it. You're I, a big Mario fan or no? I, I play Mario games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your go-to theater? My go-to is the uh, Showplex, cin uh, Cinema Showplex up in Hanover. New one that just opened. Oh, in Hanover, Mass? Yeah. Like on 53? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Like where that mall used to be. Yeah, they that actually, makes sense. they're it's all a huge area. It. Yeah, they're just kind of like redoing it to an outdoor shop area. It's nice. That makes sense. Why? Or does it? I, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm older, so I like to go inside the mall. You know that, Mike, about Sure, me. of yeah. course. Like, why? Like, Patriot Place. Like, who goes there in February? Or January? It's freezing. Well, people that lit that are going. I guess why would you rather go inside? Who goes to the mall and the outdoor yeah, mall? Yeah, I don't get general? that. I don't get that. Like, yeah. Why is every mall now built like an outdoor mall? I like the old school indoor mall. That's why I like Stranger Things. I like the mall in that show because it feels yeah. like I grew more up of an experience. Malls. I guess you can make more of a day out of it. Can you? There's so many stores. It feels that way, anyways. It, uh, That's how you I, feel I, when I, you walk I, in I there. Don't, I don't have a good answer you for you, but you I think like a day of when you show up and page your place. Yeah, I do. Malls are like effectively dead now too. I know it's, it's yeah, crazy. It's depressing. It's my you know you know Mike. It's one of sure. my favorite things. Of course, <clears throat> I'd be, I would love to have an old mall, but what can you do? What, what's your ideal like mall run through? Either now or like when you were younger. Mm. I think we talked about this with Clemmer once on the show. It was a game. It was a game. Once, game or you, you built them all. Yeah. Yes. Mm. I would need a record store, of course. Cool. I need a bookstore. I need a movie theater. I need a good pizza place. And I would need like a good like when I'm younger, like a good you know like sports hat shirt. Mm. Oh yeah, kind of memorabilia. Like like champs that, or yeah, and give me a little arcade like the Bill Rickham Mall had, which had all six of those, by the way. And I'm home free. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they, had, and they had the Baskin Robbins, which was a big deal back then. The Holyoke Mall used to have a couple of those uh, good sports. Yes, they did. Yes, yes, they did. And the Holyoke Mall to me was mind blowing because it was two floors. It was crazy. I don't think I'd ever been in a two floor mall before that. Look down and see all the other people. And they had the movie Hello theater. Uh, when I was in oh, not when I was there. yeah, no, when it I was, was gone. When I was still in prep school. It was, nah, it's it was too bad. All gone. I love a little Annie Ann's too. 
Pretzels. And Absolutely. Absolutely. Or it's I guess Wetzel's wine. Pretzels is another one. But. I'm, no. more of, I'm more of an Ann's place. Same. same. Yeah, yeah. I like the ones that are the you get in the cup, the bits. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, those are fun. You got the cinnamon ones, too. Oh, Hot dog runs. ones. Great. Home run. Home run. All right. What else? Uh, Gus pulled a move yesterday that I related to a lot, mm-hmm. where you asked, you, were, you were like, uh, what else do you have you brought to the show today, Gus? And he goes... Well, Tim Wakefield, I mean, we talked about that. <laughs> He's just listing things that he thought of, technically, even though it was already discussed. Mm. <laughs> Gus's Steve points are... <laughs> Jesus Christ. What can you do? Well, I mean, you had... You, we should talk about this, Mike. You had Will at 51. Yes. Then he dropped, of course, when he didn't show up. Yeah. You weren't here for that. No, it was disappointing, but... But how about the rallying? What would you, what'd you think? I, I mean, his, his video was great, right? Mm-hmm. I the also... Song? Th- it's I, I. It was very visual, but it seemed like John from Scranton's video was probably the best one. Was the consensus? I would go Will one. A Will better than John. John close to one okay. one eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked Will's video. I was just like he didn't. He wasn't in enough. I would like John's video better if he just actually shot Kevin. <laughs> then, then <laughs> no. I have, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. We, but that's how we all feel, right? But I thought, every, I thought everyone's video was pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, maybe my um, time. Well. I didn't get the Greg Polar bit. I didn't really either. But I thought it was going to be. I assumed the whole thing was like Montante was going to have like Rico Bosco in his video. That would have been that good. That would have been the that big. Been good. But I don't, yeah. think, I don't think Rico's going to do that. Yeah, it's disappointing. No. Yeah. yeah. In, uh, list- Very proud of Rico, by the way. Go subscribe to Healthy Debates if you're. Um, we, we, you should be, we should be doing stuff like that where you, know, you guys should be doing a tel- telethon or something. I don't well, know. I was, what, it was crazy because in the show, I listened to yesterday's show when mm-hmm. I got. We used to call the show, I think. What's that? I believe so. Before it got too big, healthy debates. Well, <laughs> you know how it is, Colin. Yeah. The show he did live yesterday, they were talking about having like 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. And when I was watching it later mm-hmm. that night, it was 30,000. Well, they, yeah, Dave went on and said he's going to give, yeah. was it $1,000 for, for every thousand 10, subscribers? 000, yeah, some, and then, but then they were just, they had everybody on. They were going, it was like a telethon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but go subscribe. It means a lot to Rico. I enjoy that show. So, yeah, I'm a Rico guy. What was I going to say? Something else. I don't know. What else? Um, I was just saying, you made me think of it with uh, Montante's video, mm-hmm. but I was listening back to old episodes of KMS, and mm-hmm. uh, it was Steve talking about the intern search, and he was like, basically, I want to see that you have like production value in like Adobe Suites and everything, uh-huh. you know, not just vertical uh, <laughs> shot videos on your cell phone. And it's like, now we flash forward. Montante's video was just vertical shot on go, Coleman. Coleman. <laughs> I like it, Coleman. I like it. I like it. I talked to Montante behind the scenes yesterday. I said, look, there's still a spot for you here. We can figure it out. And like, because he's a sales guy. I was like, do some sales for the show. I like Next. serious Montante now. Well, we're getting, I got a lot yesterday too. Yeah. Like, Montante has become like, it's like Seth Rogen. Like he's like, <laughs> He's yeah. like embracing you know, like all these comedians, yeah. all these guys who were doofuses for years. Right, like right. that's and now it's very sad. I, I wish this didn't happen. But had Chris Farley lived, he would have eventually done serious a serious movies. movie. Yeah, and it yeah. would have been depressing. Of course. Montante, who should be dead legally, like probably, <laughs> now is in like the serious stage of his comedy where he's turned his back on comedy. He's gonna start wearing turtlenecks. So yeah, he's gonna yeah, start yeah, yeah. he's he's gonna start, <laughs> he's gonna start doing to start tweeting about how like bad Trump is and how great Biden is. Like I'm, he's gonna did go, he go after uh, Dan yet? Dan Kent's? I think he should. Yeah. I think he should. He's <laughs> yeah. going to start doing like, he's going to put an album out, like an acoustic album. And like, he's going to get very, start reading books. Right. Yeah. It's, it's sad to watch, but yeah. I think he should do a show. He can mix, uh, he should do a show called Over the Line where he tells people like, hey, that's too far. Yeah. You right. Know? Yes. Yeah. I, I can see that. Yeah. I'll subscribe to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was true after the show. I said this yesterday. I, I shook everybody's hand or whatever. Fist bumped them. I'm not a big handshaker. But I said to Montante, like, you did a great job, buddy. Like, you, you, I, you're always part of the show. And I gave him the slap on the, would have been his right shoulder. Okay. He's like, thanks a lot. And he was literally like, he was like, yeah. He's like, I know. I just really wanted it. It's like, he was welling well, that, up. That I can't necessarily. He was about to cry. A, that's an emotional moment. Oh, he I chose know, you but, want I, it. but I was like, this guy who's just a oaf. Like, I don't know. You want him to be a little more, a little lighter. Yeah. Even when he came up with me and Steve and Dave, he was like very serious. Yeah. Yeah. He has. He's been. He's very call, nervous. When you called him yesterday, yeah. he was very serious. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what's going on. When he was uh, called up to this sound. Been thinking a lot about was, um <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> he's very serious now. He's very thoughtful. But I said to him, I was like, figure something out, because he's a sales guy, I think. That's what I said to him. I think that's right, right, Gus? Yeah. I said, do some sales like Steve would do. Like, Colney wouldn't do it. But, like, if you want to do some sales for the show, we'll give you a nice slice of the whatever you whatever you sell. And then you want to come in here as much as, like, I'll talk to you in here every couple of weeks. It'd be great. Yeah. 
I mean, see, I don't want the old Montante. I want the serious Montante. Right. Yeah. We fuck around you enough. Got on glasses that. now. Yeah, we fuck around. It'd yeah. be like uh, when you were B. Michael Geary. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> I want. I want like serious talk from Montante. That'd be. That would be nice. Which he does on Jerry's show, is my guess. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Um, I did have some of the healthy debate clipped up. Oh, uh, good. Just some different portions. So, uh, we have the initial Dave talking with Rico about getting the twenty k. Uh, I don't even know the producer. I'm sure he's a nice guy. But. Yeah, Jetski. Um. And then they were talking about um, potential, or excuse me, they were talking about uh, the Jersey Jerry Army and the uh, mm-hmm. the Riders. Yep. This is kind of interesting in relation to Minifans, I guess. Uh, healthy debate. Jersey Jerry has a better army than you. Um, healthy debate. Healthy debate. Jersey Jerry, Jerry got insulted and didn't do a thing about it. Uh, healthy debate. <laughs> Jerry's my guy, but he called his picks. Dumb. Jerry debate. takes healthy a few debate. things Jerry, very Jerry, seriously. Jerry, Unions. Why does it sound like this? Picks, you have this or no? That, no, it sounded like this on the sound, show. Yeah. Oh, it did. Yeah. 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 Where do you lead and from? the Steelers. Where do you lead from? I do lead from the front. Going lead? pretty well. Twenty k, shitheads. How many YouTube subscribers <laughs> you got? <laughs> <laughs> it's going pretty well, pal. You're right now. You're a big baby. You're a twenty-one simp, aren't you? You're Who's that? Ones. Fucking dudes. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just let Rico, let Rico fucking talk. He's that shithead. <laughs> uh, 20K shithead. Let's save that, I like that clip. <laughs> next on my notes, special treatment. Why do you need applause for posting a blog? I don't get it. You're the most entitled guy at Barstool. Yeah. It's insane. Uh, something to be said for that. Yeah, sorry. We got a bigger guest coming up. I think Max is going to be pissed. No, I'm not insane. I'm not insane. <laughs> <laughs> that was that one. Or because hell the debate guy. He's no longer a KMS guy. Yeah. Right. Sad. Is he on the trivia team? Who's to say? Damn. Oh, Who's boy. to say? I'm at, it's a movable feast. Did you see the uh, Marty Mush team? I did, yes. I knew about that yeah, before. Him. Joey Chestnut on there. It's Marty Mush. How about this name, Mike? You'll be stunned at the connection. Everything connects to Kirk Manhattan Show. Joey Chestnut's on the team. Third player on the team, Keith Yandel. Get out of here. I'm serious. <laughs> really? Yes. yes. Wow. Out with Dave Cohen. And yes. In, finally in with Keith. Yes. Yandel. Dave produced. Dave produced his brother's podcast. Right? <laughs> Isn't that right? Uh, was it? Yeah. I think, I I think, think that's so. what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how is that allowed? He's not. Are these? Barstool I think it's employees? so goofy that Joey Chestnut's on the team that they're just like, let's yeah. do it. Wow. But if I you know, lose to them, I think it's got to be under protest. I think so. You know? <clears throat> yeah. They played. They were doing play-ins to get to the final, or whatever. So they played that team with uh, Aaron Foster, who obviously I like. Yeah. The uh, big T who I don't like. Oh, and, uh, and Mad Dog. Dreadful Matt. Just the <laughs> worst person on earth. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. She vomits on around. But I, oh, she did because she mimicked vomiting when she saw me in New York. Yes. Yeah. Which I don't think she vomits much. But well, what, there's, uh, there's vomit and dry pussies all over that place. I know. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. When you, when you I walk through the say. halls. Yeah, I don't really understand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. What else is going on? Um, other healthy debate if we want it. Uh, Portnoy blows up. Or uh, Rico blows up on Portnoy. And uh, he hangs up on him. All right, I don't mind when those guys yell at each other. Yeah. Healthy debate. Healthy debate. How long can Bosco during this week let it not get in his brain that every single subscriber <laughs> is going to the guy behind the glass? What did, did you? You don't listen. Yeah, go fucking go watch your one TV. You old fuck. Go play the fucking audio. I said it's not for me. It's called an assist. And if you didn't max out in fucking Hebrew school and sixth grade, you would have played high level basketball and know what a fucking assist is. Get him off my fucking show. Get him off. I mean, get him fucking off. I mean, this would be the highest. Uh, uh, excusing the F words. This is on radio. This would be the number one show in, in America. It'd be. Right now? It's the perfect. Perfect. Tw- that's a, why it's so good that Coleman thought of this idea for Rico because <laughs> well, it is true, the that's perfect a good point. Yours, right, Coleman? <laughs> yeah. It's true. He was born for that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a couple of you tweeting at me, Coleman. Is this your brother with the? <laughs> I can take a look. <laughs> the amazing Jonathan. Want me to send you the picture? Yeah, that would help. Unless... All right, one second. I can pull it up. I just texted it to you. Did you say this already? What, what is his magic name? Oh, yeah, that's him. That's him? The homie, yeah. So he was on Sesame. I'm sorry, what was it? The homie. The that's l- his magic name? <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He was on um, Sesame Street? So there was like a Sesame Street on Broadway. He he was on Broadway. He definitely looks like he's got the Coleman jeans. I will <laughs> say that. Yeah. Um, no, he's a good kid. What's his, what's his magic name? 
Uh, I think he just really just goes by Chris Coleman, you know. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's kind of cool, like uh, like Chris Angel or something, you know. Yeah. Does he go under? Was he doing those tricks where he's like underwater all day? Or no, he, he's no, not like no, that. That's no. a, that's an illusionist, right? Yeah. yeah. He's not an illusionist, or is he? He, he has he dabbles. Oh, he's dabbled like, in like he has oh. he has a lot of different stuff that he could put. Does he on, look man. down on or do illusionists look down on magicians or magicians look down on, or there's all the same community? Probably I, both. They probably think, shit on each other. I would think the illusionists would look down on the magicians. I think illusionists are okay, but I believe. In, they're out on mentalists. Oh. Like, he, he's not a fan he's of mentalists. mentalists. Yeah. I gotcha. I but gotcha. we would like go to different, I've been to a million magic shows just <clears throat> throughout life because have we, have of we, him. As have we all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, would he be, if we pay them, compensate, would he, would he come in here and do I'm a sure magic show I'm sure he would love to. I'm sure he wouldn't like, even. He would like that, wouldn't you? I'd love it. You know, I'm sure he wouldn't even want to get paid. He would love no, it. Would, that's, you know. Is this your card? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Did he clean Augustus's home in one one <laughs> wave of the wand? <laughs> he does have a fire wallet, so maybe just setting fire to the entire thing could get it done. He does? Yeah. Jesus. What, what you do, Jesus. He's legit, well, man. He's legit. Who's his, who's his idol? Like, who's his Larry Bird or Bruce Springsteen? It's tough because... Like the guys that got eaten by the bears? Or what, no, the tigers were those guys? The uh, oh, uh, yeah. 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 Were no. they magicians or just... Weren't they contortionists yeah. or something? No, they were magicians. Oh, they were. Mm. Okay. They made the uh, tigers disappear and reappear all the time. Gotcha. Is he a contortionist? No. Is no. he having an assistant like a like a like a shapely woman? Or? No. Oh, okay. Should work on huh. that though. Yeah, we <laughs> could do that. Um, he. Uh, where does he do shows? Like, where does he do a show? So, like, that's what I'm saying with F.A.O. Schwartz. Like, he, right. he does. So, you go like, into the building. He's, like, there doing tricks. Or exactly, something? just doing demonstrations and stuff. Well, you said he travels for them. Yeah, because the. Actual magic company is like Marvin's Magic. Marvin's it, Magic. It's like based. <laughs> it's a magical name. Yeah, it's ba- it's like a UK based company, I believe. Oh, I got you. He so goes over there. Not he hasn't yet, but um, they send him out to like conventions, like in like Florida or wherever, and they like Jesus, you Good know, for him. Have all these still in college. Yeah, it's a hustler. Just, like, literally wow. just turned twenty one. Yeah, he's the man. And he doesn't fly. Obviously, he just disappears and reappears. Yeah, in exactly. Places. Yeah, hops on a broom, saves him money. <laughs> Jeez, wow. Yeah. Any magic tricks for you, Gus, or no? No. Okay. All right. Gus would be a good magician's assistant. assistant yeah, feel, yeah. <laughs> the fumbling, like uh, lovable <laughs> assistant. Yeah, the teller to this guy's pendulette. I've seen both of them, or I, I guess their show. Who's Penn, that? Penn and Teller. Okay. Which one doesn't talk? Teller. 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 That feels boring at this point, doesn't it? I they were great. So, yeah. Is it Penn a big uh, libertarian? Oh yeah, yeah. He's like annoying, right? Yes. I, I right. yes, yeah, yeah. I can see why you think that. His I voice like annoys him, me. Yeah. I've never really, I've never liked them. I don't know why. I don't like that. I don't like. I don't like magic that much. Yeah. No. I turned my back on the community after I left this Kirk the Magnificent in 1979. <laughs> did you feel it was a troublesome ending? Did you feel you mastered it, or did you feel shunned? Is the magician the saying like breaking the wand? I'm walking away. Right. I'm out of the yeah. business. Okay. You know, time to go on. I've done it all. Never Hang reveal up the your tricks. Yeah. <laughs> I did have a cape and I had a hat and I had a, I had a one. There's a picture of me somewhere there. It could be in this book, actually. Sure, what, uh, Ken has it. That's probably true. Uh, how was the feedback, Gus, about the... Did, did everybody see this photograph of your bedroom? Was it? Yes. I mean, it went viral. Like, hundreds of thousands of people saw it. Yeah. Like, what was the reaction in the home? It was just kind of, I can't believe you shared that picture. Mm-hmm. And just... <laughs> she had to get divorced. used to that stuff. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah she's, I, I told her, I go, it's a show thing. It's... And I right. went, I was cleaning it when she got home. Too, Nobody believes though. you clean your bathroom every three days, though, to be I, clear. I understand that, but the bathroom is the only place I'm very, like, super focused on cleaning, just because. I understand that, but why wouldn't you also then just clean the kitchen, too? Well, the kitchen stays clean now. Now? Now. Okay. But you're not going to clean that. If we went back to that bedroom in three months, it's going to look like it did yesterday. No, it's not. That's all fucking lie. It was. I'll it was, see you in three months. Are you, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well played. What's that, Mike? It was. It was funny to get to witness. I I watched some of Gus's live streaming as I was in a hotel room at five a.m. in Las Vegas. Sure, that's natural. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Right. And uh, I I turned it on. And his wife is having a discussion with him. They want to see some movie, and she's like, "Which movie do you want to see?" And he's like, "Well, why don't I tweet it out?" And she's just like, "Can you just pick a fucking movie? <laughs> what movie did you come up with?" So the the, the poll decided that I'm going to go see Saw, the new Saw, Saw movie, Saw X, Saw X. I'm seeing that with Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You four should go together. What so, were the other? Yeah, we can do that. What were the other <laughs> options? Uh, it was the does new she, Exorcist movie. Does she want to see that? Yeah, I actually do oh, want to like, see that one. Where the Exorcist? Exorcist. One? Yeah, I heard it's pretty she great. she I loves horror really? movies, yeah, and yeah, I'm just buzz is bad. Damn. They moved that with Taylor Swift too. That movie. Mm. Yeah. Which is, I, do you see that they're adding uh, the sex scenes with Travis Kelsey, the concert movie? <laughs> yes, Dan. Yeah, that, Good that news. Was, yeah, that, that <laughs> felt inevitable at this point. So Saw actually going to see. Yes. When are you seeing that? Haven't decided yet. Okay. I think week. Josh has done a good job so far as an intern. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> he's, been, he's been busy back there or no? He's been talking with us behind the scenes. Well, yeah, what's the communication been? 
He's been basically nasty. just sent a. Is he not needed with Gus here? Do you think Coleman or not? I I think that there's some room for him to help out, but it really could just be like a once a week thing. Or if okay. Gus, you know, needs an extra hand, or I need an extra hand with something, we can reach out. But yeah, like when Mike went to uh, Springfield with the for the Red Sox, he had Justin with him, so. I have yes. to go do something. Josh would be great that's, for that. That's your role. I will. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying I'm going. Josh could be there to help film. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think next just... Let me do that, Mike. Oh, Gus Josh, is going to be on camera. Josh and Gus will be there next that's time. That's exciting. You go there. Yeah. yeah. What's well, up? actually, no, I see what he's saying. Gus would be... Instead of me going, Gus would be the guy and Josh is filming him. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. So you're the new Mike Geary. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Good. All right. Just a wacky guy. Yes. Blindmike.net, by the way. Thank you. What's going on there? Well, first of all, how was the trip? It was lovely. Yeah. How long yes. are you there for? Uh, five, six, well, six days, I guess, that's but yesterday was Vegas. travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of Las Vegas. Yeah, but it was lovely. It was good. Do you gamble or? No, we're yeah. not gamblers. We went to uh, Sinatra's. That was very nice. Oh, nice. I thought it would be tacky. Or, yeah, it was okay. Or, uh, obnoxious, but no, it was great. You can go to U2? Uh, no, we you didn't weren't at that, that show, okay. A lot of, const- they're building some, like, Formula One thing out there, so there's a lot of construction. Oh, really? Done, but yeah. That must be getting ready for the Super Bowl, too. I think that must be oh, yeah, that like, too. full speed. Yeah. Yeah, so you saw your podcast and all that oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah, it was a lovely time. Legion of Skanks. Yes, yes. yes. Who else was there? Uh, oh, well, Roseanne was there. Oh, was she really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's a podcast, right? And I've started to think like she is. Uh, I think she's in on the joke or clinically insane. I, she, both could be true. Yeah, because she's like what she's doing is funny, but it's like if that's her, then she is tapped. But, yeah, it feels like a lot of work. I saw some videos from her. I'm like, yeah, oh, shit, I don't think I can handle. It's that. a lot, but yeah. Did you yeah. see her or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Did you meet her? No. Okay. Yeah. Um, they were supposed to do. Uh, they were supposed to have a love line reunion, but Adam Carolla bailed. Oh, did he really? <laughs> Time to Drew to do a show by himself. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, Jesus. yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, it's going up blindmike.net. Uh, there's a Quincy up today. Good. And then uh, why you laughing has been coming out just on Patreon while I was gone. There was no free episode last week, mm-hmm. uh, so it'll be out this week, and it's the life and career of Andrew Dice Clay. And then uh, there, after that is Norm McDonald's Me Doing Stand-Up is our 100th episode. Are there clips from us talking to uh, Andrew Dice? Clay? No, I couldn't find it on YouTube. The only thing that was on YouTube oh, really? was uh, yeah, it's not the K. There. Marco thing. Really? Yeah, the interview itself wasn't on. Okay. And I always ask you this, but that was here, right? No. No, it was that, before. That was in Red, Red 13? 13. Yeah. I, I listened to that one. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I told the story of it, but I didn't uh, have the clips, unfortunately. I don't remember that. I'm sure you guys I, you guys are obviously right. I just don't, I don't remember that. I always picture it being here. I don't know yeah. why. Huh. Was he promoting? Oh, shows. Yeah, I think he was playing in uh, the Chevalier thing. Go, because I saw him. Oh, Medford. Yeah, he was playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How was he? He was good, yeah, as I he's recall. Cool. He's yeah. great. He closes with the nursery, but he does like new shit. Yeah, yeah, you got to do that. All right, there. You've done Dice before. You did the day after that, right? Or no? That was our first episode. I thought it was. Yeah, okay. but this we talked about his actual career. His career? Oh, good. Good, good, good. All right, so go to blindmike.net. All right, what else, boys? What do you have, Gus? What are you bringing to the table today? Well, uh, Barstool Rundown, Feidelberg and Kevin reacted to uh, me getting shocked. They thought I had an actual medical disability. Oh, <laughs> I didn't hear this. Go ahead. And the Barstool hand. Radio or Rundown? Radio. Okay, they said Rundown, sorry. The Minahan clip. Bro, the Minahan, I didn't know what was going on. I, I think I watched I it on a plane. I, I think I was on a plane. I Maybe thought I was, he had Tourette's. It, like, I, I didn't know. You know what it is? It's a shock collar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just oh, like, oh I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, I thought he oh. just had a disability. No, it's a shock I collar. It, I thought it was a guy who had Tourette's, and every time he lied, he, like, ticked or something. What? It was just- <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's great. That would be such an insane disease. That's possible, I guess. <laughs> just when you lie? I guess it's possible. Yeah, he texted me Sunday morning. I was... Yeah, and he's like, "What? What's going on? What's wrong with that guy?" I was like, "No, it was a dog collar." He's like, "What the fuck are you talking?" About? He's like, "No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong?" With him? Uh, well, there you go, Gus. Oh, good. Exactly. Well, how were they deciding when to shock him? Her, just when he already wanted to be funny. Oh, I, I thought it was Wait, like what's so were mystifying about this? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, this kind of an odd thing, Mike. I mean, I was shocking a guy with a, with a dog collar on. Right, but the, but I I don't get Feidelberg's like. I think you just saw, but if you just see like the thirty second clip, it's probably weird. Like, okay, maybe. yeah, I think right. Uh, Gotta right. be. Yeah, is more of that or no? Yeah, but yeah. something that would shock him when he was lying. Oh, you see, he has a thing. Uh, he he was controlling it. I think it was just at Kirk's discretion. Bro, that is what the crazy, fuck? crazy. That's, I like I, I sit here now and I'm like I would never do that. I would do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, those guys, that dude loved it. That yeah, guy's yeah. probably gonna get like tattoos of the burn oh, mark. Yeah. <laughs> would you get a tattoo for the show? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mm, okay, well, all right. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's think about this, Mike. What would be a good tattoo? Where would you get? Would you get like Mike Tyson? No, I can't do the Mike Tyson. <laughs> that hurt too much. What are you laughing at, Coleman? That would be fucking 
fucking awesome. <laughs> Face tattoo. <Yeah. laughs> it wouldn't hurt. What do you mean it would hurt? Oh god, yeah. What? But why? Same. It's because it's so sensitive up here compared to like the arms. Do you is have that, tattoos already? I have one. Yes. You do? I have one tattoo. Yeah. Where? A tear On my drop. shoulder. Let me see this. <laughs> <laughs> Under all that hair? Yeah. Same place as us. Oh, guys, don't take your shirt off. I have oh to. My <laughs> god. Oh my god. What is it? How bad is? How bad is a tattoo? Not that bad. It's uh, one of my friends who died from uh, drinking and driving in high school. One was a soccer teammate. One was a girl in my class. Oh, that's a lot of fun, Gus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see it. It's good. That it's you know. It's good that you have. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll react to this. Let me see it. Were you very close with these people? Oh my God, God that picture. That one, was like, one was like my one of my good friends from soccer, like teammate growing up since I was a geez, kid. Gus, that's a really realistic tattoo of a crash site. <laughs> <laughs> tremendous, it's very detailed. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just a cross. Come on, let's get a picture of the body here. Let's get, show uh, show yeah. off the body, Gus. Show off the body. What kind of shape is it? Wait, wait, why are you, are you He's flexing? flexing? He's I'm not flexing. I'm <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> going, yes, you are. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. Let me see, Gus. <laughs> what? You, so you shave your chest hair. Right? Yes. Okay. You have no, you have, you're a very hairy guy, but you have no hair in your chest. Yes. Take a front shot of that. If you're okay with that, Gus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once Barstool starts their OnlyFans, that's where we'll have this going. Shut the fuck up. What do you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, because, like, That's is a good it, question going <laughs> in. He because, means a lot of things. For me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I would subscribe to that thing. Like, just just him, like, fall, like his day. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Just like his I day. Mean, I, I watched it. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> you pay two bucks a month for that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Follow him around? You subscribe to buy Mike or no? I do. You do, okay. Thank you, sir. That's good. It's like no money. You can't even eat. <laughs> I can now, baby. So, uh, so what's the story? I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? Uh, just high school parties, late night drink and driving. So, yeah. This is a friend of yours? Both of them, yeah. Were you drinking at the party? No, I was not at either party. So, you weren't really friends. No, I wasn't. He was driving. I, <laughs> this is my shot. I wasn't cool in high school. In class. <laughs> you, so, you weren't, so, you weren't really friends with them then? No, I was. Okay. Definitely was. It was just one was this from guy the was town your, over. This guy, oh, sure. Yeah. This guy was your best friend, you're saying? Not my best friend, but a very good friend, like my best soccer team. When did you get the tattoo? When I was in uh, college, like 2021. Oh, okay. If they were resurrected, would they be like, that's all weird? <laughs> no. got well, <laughs> I could be like, who's no. that guy? I don't yeah, think right. so. <laughs> he read the story in the paper somewhere in New Hampshire. <laughs> so, but you love them so much, you miss them so much, you, you honor them by doing something you, you can never see. It's, it's covered all the time. No. Not when I cut the grass shirtless. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, fair. Not when he's banging. That's a good point. <laughs> Those people are driving. He's got the he's got the llama and the, the people are driving. Are you drinking? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> Keep going. You're this fine. one's for you You're guys. Fine. <laughs> You're fine. Just the cross and it says never forget and it's spelt with an O because my buddy John wanted to get tattoos when we were seventeen that said never give up and he spelt it with an O so I made fun of him for it so then I put it on. What do you spell with the O? Never give up. Never. N e v o r instead of e r because he turned the O into a soccer ball. So he didn't lose much when he died. I don't mean to be. <laughs> I think what? we did. He, was like, he wasn't on track for graduation. Yeah, we're, not, we're not talking about, you know. Again, cancer would still not be cured, I think. If, yeah, I think so. Well, that's very sad. That's too bad. I'm sure he was a swell guy. Well, that's, well, okay. So you're willing to get another tattoo, you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Maybe always give up. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I can put that somewhere. Please give up. So you wouldn't get on, you, so uh, we're negotiating here. Because we could get sponsored for this. We had that, that tattoo sponsor with the I was ready, of COVID. I was ready to do that one. Because that was the mic drawing, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. We had COVID came in because we had a whole bunch of them. Oh, that's right. So the face, the Mike Tyson, you're saying no. No. Face and neck, no. Anything like that. Cock. Neck, that might hurt more, but. Okay, I'm, I'm the, I'm, we're negotiating I'd say no. I'd say no Coleman, what do you think for him? I'm kind of thinking some. Neck? Oh, I thought you meant actual tat, like what the tat would be. Oh, no. Let's, <laughs> let's negotiate the position of the place. The butt. Neck mm. tattoo? That'd well, be tough. I, I, yeah, what, I think what the All tattoo hair, is would it even matter. I, I want it to be seen. Oh. I think what the tattoo is could factor into the best placement of it. Would you get a male tramp stamp? Exactly. Get exit only. <laughs> Gus, I'll handle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. Yeah, because you're, you're homophobe. <laughs> Sorry, boys. He not have a pacemaker. Come on, stop <laughs> pussyfooting around. Let's go. <laughs> Steve was ready to shoot uh, uh, Mick. By the way. So, all right, so so neck down, you're saying? Yeah. Fine. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, so forehead is out. Forehead's out. Okay. Hmm. Back of the neck is out. Back of the neck's out. Neck is out. Neck is out. You what about, sure? what Positive. about hand? I'll do hand. What about full size chest tattoo of Bill Haberman? A poor, <laughs> Bill well, Haberman portrait. Well, you can't have that. I mean, that's, have that looming over you every time you're mowing the lawn. <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> 
Uh, Mike just likes saying that. <laughs> I do love it. It's like, I the, it's like the guy in Malawi. What was his name? The guy who... Oh, uh, Chandler. Richard Chandler. Yeah, he's like a Richard Chandler yeah. type. I thought Gus's video was going to end because it seemed like a professional voice guy or some, I, right. you know, someone with a good voice. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be, I'm Bill, Bill Haberman. Haberman. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't respect him. Um, hmm. All right, so where do we get it then? You, would you get the mail tramp stamp? I get a mail tramp stamp. Okay, that's a possibility. Mm. Yeah. I guess. Of what, though? Should he get the names of the people that died in the uh, competition? We could fuck that's over true. Clemmer. What do you mean? So Clemmer has... Well, he's said Ninja Turtles, right? There's three. And there's only three of his friends that have it. And there's a missing Ninja Turtle. Oh. That's we possible. Can, <laughs> we can <laughs> take over. Steal steal out. Gus that. is the fourth friend. Yeah. yeah you're the buddy. Because yeah, Clemmer's intrigued by you. That's a possibility. I don't hate that. And Gus would have to go to all their events when the four of them get together. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I can only imagine the fun that is. Huh. All right. Well, yeah, we could think about that. But you're open to it. I am. Obviously, we'd pay for it and everything. Hmm. Okay. All right. But the face is out. Face is out. Definitely. Definitely out. Thousand percent. Thousand percent. What if you got fired? Like, like your job's on the line. Oh, well, then. <laughs> well, I like yeah. this job. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of him just getting the face tattoo. I, I, I could retire in two years. And just walk around <laughs> I'd love for it to be like one of those like teardrops, like the Lil Wayne teardrop. <laughs> He's a killer. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> All right. But you just got a tattoo on his forehead that just said Gus. <laughs> you know? Someone no one in his life calls him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, one person. Yeah. All right, what else? Um, I did have, so outside of uh, radio talking about Gus, there, Rico brought him up at the end of Healthy Debate. Oh, we did? All right. Yeah. Gotta, yeah. gotta come back tomorrow. Oh, Next, gotta come back rolling. Wednesday. Oh. If you're flying, oh. I'll do this. I tell you right now. Andrew Augustus blocked this from your memory. <laughs> Meet and greet at the Chili's. In the Chicago airport, <laughs> Wednesday night. <laughs> 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 Gotta come. Are we going to meet and greet at the airports now? That's a star. Yeah, I'd go. I'd go. I'd go see him if I was in the area. Has it? Has Gus addressed the uh, allegations of this clear lie that he told about having to avoid John I, Richard? I, 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 mean, have, I, have, I don't have addressed it. So obviously a lie, but yeah, yeah. 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 Have you addressed that? Uh, I don't. That think you so. were that you were texting John Richard four in the morning. Yes. To. Make avoid sure you avoid somebody. Basket? Yes, that's a lie. That is not a lie. He didn't know what you looked like. But also, Gus, like if you're at a fucking airport, like O'Hare Airport's like the biggest airport in the world. I had never been there. What do you think it was? It's fucking no Chicago. <laughs> well, I, I've heard Midway's hey, better. Am I gonna have to shake everyone's hand at this <laughs> O'Hare <laughs> Airport? Because <laughs> you're Jeff Lowe at Harvard. Like it's just not. Like what? What do you mean? How did you yeah. think? Did you think O'Hare Airport Chicago was small? Yeah. I thought because I've always heard about You're Midway. You fucking retard! Like, what do you, what do you, what, what <laughs> mom and pop airport? It's in Chicago. I know. I was just wasn't thinking. I'd been up for over twenty four hours straight. I was just packed. Why? Because I came in for the show, and then I was packing the rest of the day to get packed, and then you packed for twenty four hours. Almost. Well, I mean, I didn't leave here till like three. And then what are you I, talking about? You packed for twenty four hours? Like not twenty four, but like I. St you got. You have to th hold on. I left You're, here. Hold at three. on. Hold on. You texted. We'll go. We'll work backwards. This, okay. is how, this is how Steve and I would do it in the case. The one that worked. So <clears throat> most of the time. So you you texted John Rich at five a.m. Yes, working backwards from that. Yes, you left here at what time? I uh, left here at four p.m. Okay, so you got home at five. Yes. So you packed for twelve hours. Well, I packed for like six, and then the yes. other. Hold on, you packed for six hours? <laughs> yes. You know that's a lie. It's not because I had nothing Mike, packed. Mike, There's no way. Mike, you just went to you just went Have to, you seen my house? Trying you just to, went to get to Las that Vegas filth? for yeah. a week, whatever yeah. it was. You're a guy. I'm a guy. Gus is a guy. How long did it take you to pack? I mean, if if I'm going along, if I'm rounding up. Let's just say you could, all kidding aside, let's say your, your vision is perfect. Sure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Everything's perfect. I mean, 25 minutes, and that's a lot. It takes that's... me, it literally takes me four minutes. Right. Like, right. I just throw shit in like every guy does, right, Coleman? Yep, 100%. But okay, also, but, I'm but, taking into it. I'll, I'll say I'll fold. <laughs> I'm okay, trying to make sure. this as long as possible. I mean, you doing laundry maybe, or is yeah. that was, packing, or there was laundry being done at the time. Okay, good. Okay, thank <laughs> and, you. And we also had packed. Never bags made it in the uh, drawer. There, yes, there was. Like there was wedding wedding souvenirs. Laundry. We had to pack the wedding stuff. We At least say there was laundry. <laughs> made sure my clothes were staying nice and so they'd be ready for the wedding. That takes thirty seconds. Well, I'm. You're saying it took you twelve hours to pack. Justin nailed this well, then guy by, yesterday. Then by the time <laughs> yeah, we right. were done, He's a truth stretcher. Yeah. By yes. the time we were done packing, then we we ate, and then after eating, it was like I don't know, late at night, and I'm like, I don't really want to sleep because I have to get up at two. Well, that's different than packing for twelve hours. Now, right. now you're changing your story. Well, I was packing, eating, getting ready to leave. What? 
getting ready to leave, making sure all the stuff so in the house. So you're packing and eating. What time? What time did you begin eating? You and your probably family? like seven, eight. That's two hours, Gus. <laughs> You went for 12 hours to two. Well, when he no, says eat it. Well, well, and what does this have, have, have to do with, where'd you stop we, to eat? Well, we didn't. I thought you were packing your house. We you were, stop somewhere? No, 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 no. We you were packing food. in like a, like a food court or something? No, no I'm saying. What is, what is going on? You're packing at Chili's with Rico? I'm saying we stopped packing to go have dinner that we made. Gus, Andrew, please, you have to stop. We have to eat. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat in your home? Yes, we ate the in The remaining home. food you had. Yes. This okay. packing is killing you. <laughs> it's killing eat us. Eat something. Come on. The Gus, eat something. <laughs> All right, so you had dinner. What'd yep. you have? Uh, that was, we just had simple uh, grilled cheese and fries. Grilled cheese and fries, nice. Okay, so you finished that and then back to, uh, back to like packing. Gus is done. He's like, you know what? Back to packing. <laughs> All right, back to the salt mines. Now keep in mind, they put those dishes away. and did not clean them. Those are the famous dishes that were not clean, <laughs> correct? Correct. Okay, so the cheese all yeah. over the plate for like a week No, 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 there's no there wasn't any cheese on the plate. I make a good grilled cheese. Everything stays nice and clean. Oh boy. Except your room. Yeah, Except the room. <laughs> yeah, <it's> the <laughs> fucking kitchen. All right, so you go back to seven o'clock, you're back to packing. Yes. For eight more hours. Yeah, well, I'm not eight. And I'd the packing say, and stress so overwhelmed you that you thought, boy, I might see Rico Bosco at this airport. <laughs> no, it, it's just, it was a tired fatigue thing. I was just This is bullshit. You. You're fucking lying. <laughs> I'm not I, lying. <laughs> What's the, I don't even understand what the truth is. What are you saying? I'm just saying, I did, the wife gave the whole don't, we're not making this about barstool stuff. So right. it's like, fine. I was like, if I bump into Rico, I'm like, I don't want to do Okay, this. but let me ask you this You guys know who you are. At this time, he had no idea who you were. None. Yeah, it was, it was, I mean, you might watch a show on YouTube a little bit. I'll say that. But do you know, oh, hey, no. everybody's going to be, that's Andrew Augustus from well, the Kirkman Ash. I would say certainly not. <laughs> and nobody wants to see anybody at the fucking airport anyway. Yeah. So that, see, no, I didn't want to see him too. It was fine. It's, oh, no, you definitely didn't. So nah, you I, texted John Rich at five in the morning, which is psycho. Anyway. Well, I saw that he was tweeting already. I knew, I saw okay, that he was up. Okay. And you said, hey, which airport did, did they land at? Hey, which one do they normally land at when they go? Because I don't know. It was like the same exact timing from Boston to New York. It, it looked like it was going to be. How many terminals do you think they have at O'Hare Airport? I only thought like two or three. Okay. So so you guys are going to be at the same airport. And so if you saw Rico, like if you if John Rich didn't respond and you landed at, we, did you find the Midway or O'Hare? O'Hare. O'Hare. If you landed at O'Hare and Rico was there as well and you walked by each other, you wouldn't have said anything to him. Nope. Do you believe that, Mike? He would have had his uh, wrestling mask up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he brought that in today, by the way. Oh, good. Yeah. You, you wouldn't, you would have never, you, you just wouldn't have said anything. No. Do you believe that, Mike? No, of course no, not. No. Why would you find someone's exact location to not see them? Just, to, just yeah. I, if, if I would have, I would admit it. I, I would not. I, I wouldn't have said anything. Well, what's the point of sending it to him? Because if you're, so if you're not going to see, if you put it this way, if you're not to acknowledge him when you see him, why reach out to John Rich so you can know you're not going to acknowledge him if you see him? I have no clue. It was a bad idea. It was, because of the packing. It was just tired. You were stressed out from the packing. Yeah. Well, yeah. What was in your, how much, what did you pack? Uh, you were gone for how long? I was gone for a week. You were gone for a week. Okay. What did you pack? So we packed, uh, I think like two pairs of pants. Okay. Two pair of pants. Two pair of pants, uh, five pair of shorts, a bunch of shirts, dress and t-shirts, uh, water shoes, bathing suit. Oh my God. That's exhausting. <laughs> Um, well, I guess it did take 12 hours. A bunch of... Uh, <laughs> underwear? Uh, underwear. Yeah. Okay. Actually, only uh, only like two or three. I'm sorry? I wear bird dogs, so I don't need underwear. Okay. So... We only had so much time. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you're so fucking weird. Uh, my golf shoes, golf clothes. Um, How many bags do you guys have? We had f two, two big suitcases... One smaller one. Are you a fucking, are you a fucking woman? What's no. wrong with you? Well, we, well, I hate to be, be, I hate to be because, because, a fucking man for Christ. Well, well because we had all of our wedding gifts we had to bring down. That's like different. our wedding chart. That's different. That was in one of the one of the big things. So for me personally. Your wedding chart. Like seating chart for okay. the. For you can't all. just take a picture of that? No, but we had to display it at the wedding. So oh, I got you. Know. Why don't you send that forward? Like, why don't you mail that? No, no am I wrong? Why don't you just mail? I'm not it, saying do it like. It was. Like, we were so paranoid about. It not getting there, we just gotcha. thought it would be easier to throw it gotcha. in. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's for fine. that. So, but for me personally, that's got to take at least to put that chart in. It's got to take an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> when you guys have kids, do you think you're going to start packing like not a few months in advance? Kids. They're no, not. That's right. I forgot. About <laughs> they're not. <having> kids. <laughs> I forgot. I, I, I swear to God, looking at that house, if they have, I will absolutely call the authorities. I want to take the dog away from them. Well, how yes, many dogs do you have? Three. Oh, it's, it's fucking gross. It's shit. I guarantee you, there's shit all over the place. Nope. Guarant fucking tea. There's shit all over the no. place. The beds. The, the dog sleep in your bedroom. Yes. Their house oh. broken. Yes. I don't believe it. Go ahead. Go ahead. What were you going to say, Coleman? I was going to say yesterday he brought up that story of him in high school uh, jerking off in the bathroom. Yeah, that's oh, that I seemed like a lie. But along with that, mm -hmm. he was saying that him and his friends were sperm donors. 
is there already an Augustus child out there? Well, you're saying no. the sperm is no good, though. No, oh, okay. I got rejected. Yeah. Gotcha. I got rejected. Gotcha. I yeah. Get yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no good. <laughs> sperm, thank God, is no good. Up. Cool. So, <laughs> so it took you 12 hours to pack, well, except for the cheese, uh, the grilled cheese, cheese and fries, fries break. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I like these. Uh, these it's, like, it's like he's at the factory. It's like, ah. <laughs> They got 50, 50, <laughs> 50 minutes. They're just sitting there and they're like, they're, they're, they're just their uniform, just not even talking to each other, just having their coffee. <sighs> well, let's get back to it. <laughs> this manager sucks. What's the point of complaining anymore? Anyway? <laughs> just, just cash it in the check, go home. Just trying to get to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> 12 hours. This is the biggest, this is worse than Mick's Saudi Arabia story. He's got a big thermos of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's just, <laughs> <sighs> Looks like the black lungs going around here. <laughs> <laughs> Take some smoking just so you can get outside for a few minutes. <laughs> Pee break, boss. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But, okay, so let me pretend. Why are we? Why are we even? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Let yeah. me pretend that Rico would recognize him at Oh Harry yeah. Island. Okay. Sure. Sure. Worst case scenario. Just you, you hello. Said, and you want to, you want to, you promised your wife you wouldn't make a whole barstool thing at your wedding, everything. I understand. Be great if Rico said hello, but he kept his promise, just fucking knocked Rico out. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Is Rico going to mob it? Hey, you have to talk to me for 45 minutes about Minifan. Yeah, you ever been to the airport? Nobody talks to anybody. <laughs> You're just going to pass each other on the fucking, like, on those like uh, goddamn things like they have at Logan. You know, the. Oh, the person moving sidewalk. Yeah, things. yeah. You just, you just, maybe you wave to him, like, hey, Rico, Andrew. Right. If, we, if Rico went, hey, Gus. Yeah. What's the, is that so bad? You wouldn't say anything to him. I mean, I might have just, if you said to me, I would have waved, but... If you go up to you and said, hey, I'd like to talk to you, what would you say? Well, if he came up to me, well, now I'd be like, yeah, hi, whatever you want, type of thing. I like Rico. <laughs> Sexual proposition? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Larry Craig? I'm done doing his belt. <laughs> Luckily, this isn't a real belt. <laughs> <laughs> anything you want. I could just say hi. Like, I, I would be friendly. Hi, hello, but, anything you want. But at that point, I was just, I wasn't thinking. It was a bad move. Change your Twitter bio to, hi, hello, anything you want. <laughs> Uh, this would be a great first date. <laughs> I wish Josh had this date. You know? so he's taking this girl for food 40 times. Yeah, right. I do like that his wife was like, let's not make this a barstool thing. And it's, he's like, well, if Rico's there. Yeah, well, then I'll reach I mean, out to John Rich. Yeah, what can you do? <laughs> Who knows better than... If anybody knows where the planes land, it's John Rich. I have those texts up if you want to. So yeah, through. let me hear them. So 5.42 a.m. That's a little later than I thought. still insane, but yeah. yeah. Not to be a creep, but do you know if Barstool guys fly into O'Hare or Midway? A little tip, by the way, before, uh, one sec, Coleman. Yeah, sure. When you start out by saying not to sure. be a creep, you're definitely not a creep. <laughs> that's that's good. That's smart. Don't you think, Mike? Not to that's be a creep, but where is everyone you know right now? <laughs> not to be a creep, but do you know exactly how many pubic hairs Rigo Bosco has? Because I don't want to see them. That's no, why I'm asking. I don't. I'm, I don't. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, John Rich. Ha, ha, ha. I have no idea, honestly. I've never been to that office. Rich just looks outside his window. <laughs> Gus I goes, never saw Rico again. <laughs> Gus goes, fuck. <laughs> I think Rico and I are landing at a similar time at O'Hare. Why I, did you think that, by the way? <laughs> and just, why tell John this? <laughs> well, because he's flying. That's a stupid question, Mike. You think John was just fascinated by the, by the, by the landing time of, <laughs> of, of A, Gus, and B, well, Rico Bosco? Certainly, I wouldn't be rude and not follow up with John Rich and at least explain. <laughs> Go ahead, Gus. No, no, I, Mike was asking a question. So the I thought we were because I saw Rico saying leaving now too from New York, gotcha. and I know flying from New York to Chicago in Boston to Chicago is relatively the same similar thing. in terms time. of flight time. Yeah, good. Um, so then he goes, uh, I don't know what you guys fly, but if it's American, we could be at the same terminal. Uh, then replies with a second fuck. That second fuck was because I tried to send this before we took off and it originally first didn't send. So I got double fucked. <laughs> it what do you mean? Oh, you landed. You said fuck again. It landed and it sent the fuck again. Gotcha. What's the fuck? What's the first fuck about? Mm. It was just the first fuck was just like he didn't know. I was like, fuck. Well, the American what, thing. Was the, what, about what, if he's flying into O'Hare or not. The first fuck was his own message? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. It, it literally, the is shape this, of the message. Is Brandon Walker's sister handle right all now. this stuff or no? Uh, flights and stuff? Yeah, yeah. she's one of a oh, couple. You should have messaged yeah. her. Why don't, you, why don't you call Brandon and, and <laughs> see, if, see if he can get her number. Yeah. See, the two of you can talk about where Rico Bosco lands. Right. I can tell you we landed, when I flew into Chicago, it's been, just so you know, it's been O'Hare. Just so you know, going okay. forward, it's usually O'Hare. I, I mean, I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, so if you're, if you're worried about that again, yeah. Is that, was that the length of the text? The no, so then... Oh, it was more, okay. Uh, 807, John Rich finally replies, ha that's hilarious. Did you talk to him? Question mark. 
How many different people do you think John Rich is texting like his friends who are like, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'd be, everybody I know, I'd be like, what is wrong with this fucking yeah. person to hire this guy? Did you talk to him and Gus is like, no, but it was close. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw somebody look at Rico Bosco. Was it him? No, it wasn't. Gus is holding a newspaper up, <laughs> peering over. <laughs> Fake mustache. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Gus finishes out. I haven't seen him yet. I just landed. <laughs> <laughs> Reports. I haven't seen him hey, yet. He no, said, did you talk to him? <laughs> no sighting yet. <laughs> and remember, I'm trying to avoid him. <laughs> and White then, whale missing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you haven't seen him yet? You're on the plane still? Are you saying, Gus? Yeah. Uh, no, we had just gotten off the plane. So you were okay, yeah, deplaned and we're starting to walk to our next uh, game. Were you looking for him? No. Okay. I was more focused on finding the popcorn place Big Cat recommended. To you personally? Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I did the tweet, like, what's the move for an oh. hour? And so, then, so your wife said, don't make this a barstool thing. And so far, you're you messaging John Rich exactly. and going to Dan's popcorn place. What's wrong with that? <laughs> By popcorn place, he means his bedroom when he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Is this where you keep the popcorn? <laughs> fuck is wrong with you honestly it was amazing <laughs> amazing as i hired him it's a job i think and then again started his tenure by saying i don't know if i should have done that yes <laughs> no, i feel even stronger now is that it or no uh there was one more message uh gus goes i don't know where he is that's it <laughs> uh, where is he i don't know where he <laughs> where is, is he? so you yeah. never saw him never saw him okay and again if you had saw him you would have not gone up to him no okay definitely wouldn't take a picture with him made nope. a big bit on twitter nope Definitely not. Nope. I agree with that. This is like Walter White looking for Jesse Pinkman at the end. That's right. I don't know where he is. Uh, all right. What else? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, do, so then we have... Well, Gus, do you have anything else? Yeah. No? Oh, um, has got the story. What else do you have? We have Matt Gates trying to remove Speaker McCarthy. I don't care about that. Okay. Save that for your old, uh, you know, political world of yours. Go ahead. <laughs> T talking about Mike being in Vegas, you see the prices to get a commercial or an ad space on the Sphere? Uh, no, I didn't. Want to take a guess? No. Oh, okay. Why don't you just tell me? $450,000 per day. Okay. But for the week, it's only $650,000. I really? did that for blindmike.net. I noticed. Did it help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get the 800 yeah, subscribers? Yeah, three no? subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> you spend money to make money, baby. Yeah. I saw your boy. I saw your idiot producer at the live show. Oh, Craig? Yes. Yes, very yeah. good. He seemed like he, he saw me and kind of moved away. I think, he, I think he knows uh, actually, he knows. Better. I actually dislike him. Why? Though? I don't know. I have a visceral dislike. He's never done anything wrong. Oh, I know. When I see him, I just have a visceral dislike toward him. <laughs> he's a decent guy. I'm sure he's a decent guy. He's a horrible producer. But well, decent guy. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. he was there. I appreciate that, I suppose. Yes. Well, he probably snuck in. Who even knows? He can't actually <laughs> pay for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what else, Coleman? Uh, so we alluded to this yesterday, but Tommy's... After those two absolutely horrible stories from Augustus, <laughs> by the way. I mean, but it doesn't matter. We're here for the fucking <laughs> tattoos. We're here for the stalking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here for the... Would you get a tat... Hmm. What should the tattoo be then? Something involved in that? No. Should it be something show related? Oh, yeah, I like, guess it probably has to be, right? The John Stewart photo, maybe? <laughs> then you've always got it with you. 9 11 with three planes <laughs> below the never forget. That's true. We could do that. <laughs> The, well, the yeah, the O and forget would be a soccer ball. Should it be? <laughs> should it be uh, Rico Bosco with like? Have you seen this yeah, man? Exactly. <laughs> right. O'Hare Midway, and just a picture of Rico. <laughs> hmm. So you wouldn't get a you, you you wouldn't get a picture of Rico on your face. No. Okay. No, it's not really a rider then, are you? I, I'm a rider, but mm -hmm. more of a yeah. minute. Healthy debate. I mean, healthy no, debate. Healthy, healthy debate. debate. I mean, if you're not going to get a tattoo of Rico Bosco, you're a rider. I say no. Uh, you'll do any size tattoo? Yeah. What about hashtag rider on your ass? I'd do that. You I would. Like, I like his, yeah. his but you're, entire but you're, but back. But you're, but you're a Kirk Minahan show producer. I am a Kirk Minahan show, but that's why it's on the ass. You can't really see it if it's on my ass unless I'm mooning people. I mean, it should be Minifan. I mean, unless I'm mooning people. You doing that a lot? <laughs> Not yet. Okay. No. What's the outfit for the lawn mowing? Just a no shirt. No shirt, gym shorts, and my shoes. Bad shoes. And your what? Bad shoes. What do you mean bad shoes? Like shoes that are like five years old that are okay. all worn in. Okay. All right. Hmm. I was I thinking about the lawn. 18 about, hours? No, the way you do things a, in life. I don't about know. an hour, hour 15. It's okay. not bad. All right. Okay. What's that, Mike? I think full back tattoo portrait portrait of uh, Rico. But it's, but he's not, but it's, it's this, this show. Well, it's related to that's yeah. how he That's how he got hired, was avoiding Rico Bosco. <laughs> that's a good point. You can never avoid him. Now. What else, Colm? Uh, so I was saying we alluded to this the other day, uh, but Tommy Smoke's trying to kind of become a Mina fan. Yes. Last night. I saw him liking different Minifan related tweets, uh, but through his uh, Snuffing Torches survivor account. 
Oh, like eight so tweets came in. So he's playing the game. He's playing yeah, that different. Exactly, that's incredibly exactly. subtle to do it that way. Exactly. For Tommy, a hundred thousand dollars is like twenty million for me. What does he not make? Money? Or no, is it the other way around? Or is it like a dollar? For me? No, no. Be, well, I mean, it only gets money like I have. Is what I'm saying. Right. Like, right. I, I've made money for a long time. You know, I'm saying Tommy's a younger guy. I assume he does well there. Though. Yeah. He's been, he's been there. But a hundred thousand the... dollars for him is a lot of money. Sure. Absolutely. I, that's what I mean. That's what he was saying. Yeah. So. So you, you think Coleman is trying to play the game? Yeah, a little bit of that. Also, I didn't know if that was more so like that's his burner account effectively. And yeah. like he's trying to have a burner presence within the world. I, I don't know. Mm. Interesting. We'll find out Sunday. I'll be there Sunday. God, I'll be there Sunday. Jesus. Yeah, so, yeah, it, we'll find out. They were all like very random ones, too. Just like a couple of Kyle Tim's ones, like a random Rico link. Mm. Like huh. re really weird. That's how he, this is how he plays it. Yeah, and he's a, he's a master. He's uh, he's Mike's enemy, but he's he's you know. <laughs> oh, I saw people saying uh, uh, that the KMS thing is bad on TikTok because it's like a kill myself thing. People, yeah, yeah. So did we change that again or no? no? So where we're at now is a couple options. It's I'm, been I'm quite over. a battle. Yes, one. <laughs> We keep it as is because I think that does fit into. I have no, I have no problem with it. But and yeah. I also like the idea of like fully seeing this just right from a fresh start be built up. Okay. I think it's nice to have a beginning and, and let it run. That's your world. It's fine by me. So there's that option. Right. Option two. What's Blind Mike's uh, TikTok handle? Blind Mike Project, I think. Yeah. Putting a lot of work in there. We have about 300 followers. Okay, right. There you go. Pretty That's good. Thing. Yeah, well, we go do ahead. now too. After yes, yesterday, the duel is on. We are at yeah. three. We are at like 296, 300 now. So wow, climbing. Wow. Um, option I two want though, to bury that blind Mike TikTok project. Damn it. Yeah. So it's always been an obsession. <laughs> Mike and I could do a dance off to see this. So a thousand. I challenge posts. you. Yeah. Go ahead. Option two, uh -huh. we have uh, a fan that has the Kirk Minahan show. Oh boy. Actual name. Uh huh. That he's been running has like a little over 300 followers. This is the guy that does the Frank the Tank ones. Yes. 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 I like that. I, I kind of like he's doing that. Though. Well, we posted the real yesterday, one. Mike. Yes. Now. We did post it. Yes. From our account. Yes. We're stealing his We're stealing his material. Yes. And Frank's material. Yes. Oh, yeah, well, fine by me. It <laughs> works for me. Uh, no, God, we do it. We, we're your instincts tell you. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking just, I, I don't want to honestly deal with people like that. Like, let's just, let's just do our own thing. You know? I will ask, though, okay, you know? if the current handle is KMS <laughs> Show. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that stand for Kirk, Kirk Minahan Show Show? 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 Yes, exactly. Yes, okay. yes it does. <laughs> okay, good. As long There's as we something know that. to yes. that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that is true. It's all part of the plan. That is yeah. true. It's, yes, I suppose that's true. Okay, fine by me. Third option is after 30 days, we are able to switch it again. And I've also contacted their customer support about maybe being able to change it, but haven't heard anything yet. But KMS Show kind of hits for me. I don't know. People call it that. Sure. I mean, they it do. Just it's rolls, weird. You know? it's, you're right. It's the Kirk Minahan Show Show, but they right. say... Like most people say, KM just KMS. KMS, yeah. yeah. What do you think, Gus? Uh, I mean, I like keeping that as KMS show. You like it that way, okay? It's we're in there. We're getting the large after a day, getting up the. What are you laughing at, Colin? We're in there. We're in there. <laughs> <laughs> we're in where? But we're we're in the TikTok sphere now. Okay, we're, we're moving up. We're getting a lot of traction right off the bat from it. So let's keep it rolling. Okay. Would you get at KMS show with the TikTok logo on your forehead as a tattoo? On my forehead, no, yeah. but anywhere else probably. Okay. We wouldn't get like a small like KMS like right here. No. No, that's not negotiable. I can't do the face. Is that is that because of the misses or is that? That's uh, me. Really? Why? Because I just because that money, it's your money maker. Like, what's the? <laughs> it's not a money maker, but it's. Let me throw this out there. Sure. You shave your head and get it on the top of your head. That. We just grow his hair out. That's, that's exactly what no, I was I'm saying. You got to keep it shaved. Also, oh. might or, be. Or the most you don't want to see me as a, with a shaved head. It's or not <laughs> that would hurt. I would think. Yeah. Or just you know, whenever you need it shaved, whenever you need the tattoo exposed, you let him know yeah, for big shows or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a possibility. I guess. Shaved head every live show. Did it hurt to get the first tattoo? No. Where'd you get that done? Uh, Rhode Island. Yeah, I got it at my friend's uh, sister's place at the tattoo bar, her tattoo bar. How much did that cost? Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Does it look horrible, Coleman? You saw that. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Do you have one, Coleman, or no? No, I don't. I'm not getting one. Either. Yeah, don't put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Damn right. <laughs> uh, we'll take a few calls. <clears throat> we'll talk about Milton's, of course. Store for men. Social Plaza. We got to go. Uh, Bill's pushing us to go, Mike. So all take right. Coleman and Gus there. Some wow. Point. That's big. Point. I know. That's like that's where it's like the new family. You know. Yeah, that's weird. I always find that to be because, like I said, the other, I, I'm sure you, I know you agree with this. Like, Steve was different because he was first. We were together. Kind of in this together. You were here. Right. And Dave was already part of the world. Yes. And these guys have been on, obviously. 
Yeah, but but it's, not the same. It's just not the same. Like I said, you you probably I bet you understood this when I said I saw Coleman holding the John Stewart picture. Yeah, it felt weird. Right. You're like, oh, like, he is his. the guy. Yeah, but it's but it's now his property. <clears throat> right. Like, this is his world. And that's what I was thinking uh, yesterday, where I was like, oh, they're just in the building before Justin was here or anything. Like yep. that. It was just them. Yeah, it's their it's show. Right. When I leave and you leave, yeah, it'll be the two of them together, <laughs> it's linked, very straight at the hip. Yeah, and you kind of knew how Dave would be. Like, um, I think I was listening to them. I was listening to Augustus on oh. Quantum Kirk, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, I saw he was on. I and they said that I predicted Dave like flaming out <laughs> in some way. I don't yeah. remember doing that. <laughs> yeah, but like we kind of could guess how Dave would be here in in six months or two years or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas the, I have no idea. I could see either of them being like more relevant than Dave or Steve. And I could also see in two years, we're like, remember Coleman kind of? Not oh, you really. think? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't know. I can see it going either way. I'm very, uh, August is with he is. I mean, he's a lunatic, but I like him. But I'm very impressed with Coleman. Like, uh, he's Thank been you. very, very good so far. Like, he's, appreciate he's, it. he's, huh? I said, I appreciate it. Oh, good. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, you know, he's on top. And, and Gus's doing a good job too. Like, so far, like, I was worried yesterday. I'm like, I don't know if these guys never done a show with Justin. But it yeah. was easy. Like, today's been easy. It's yeah. already been a couple of hours. It's been, I looked at my phone. It's been an hour and 45 minutes, which is good. And I'll say, I mean, it's day two, so they're probably just they super, take, super on top of things. They have not, yeah, they have not been the college or any of the other, so. Right, yeah, day. they're not worn down at all. Right. But yeah. but I will say they were, like, you know, throwing stories out there and stuff, like, talking before the show and everything. It seemed like they're oh, hustling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hustling bullshit with them before the show or no? A little bit. Not the same, though, as Dave. It's not the same. No. Well, not you got to build Dave. that up. We'll get, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. build chemistry. Yeah. And John Pelletier sort of sucked the fun out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> just so an, was, just oh, right. a, an ominous figure. So he came in and just, what do you do? where's the dress? It's in the uh, the Dave's old room. All right, go put it on, Gus. <laughs> Off he goes. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> if you're comfortable with that, Gus. Oh, all right, he seems good. almost excited. <laughs> yeah, so very, well, he texted it to me. He actually found my number and texted it. Oh not, my, not, that is large. Not in front of us, Gus. Just change somewhere else. Please. It's a nice dress. Change not in front. You have to change in front of us, Gus. Go change somewhere, you know. But Gus looks at me like, why, why not? <laughs> but can I? It's like ninety <laughs> rooms in here. Why do you pick the one directly? In I can see you, Gus. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he gets off. He gets off on it. He's a, he's he's a boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 he's, yeah. He's, he's like. He's looking at me right now like you want to look at this, don't you? Yeah. During that live stream, he probably tried getting the lady, you know. Gus, there's 90 rooms here. I know. All we have is empty rooms in this fucking <laughs> yeah. place. We're working on that. Are we? Yeah. What, what are you talking about? Uh, basically, just ran through all the rooms, wrote down some different ideas of just stuff that can be in there, clean up, clean it up and everything. Right. Steve's uh, dream to have, remember Steve's dream to have different podcasts going yes. on at the same time. And the first one was supposed to be the Jerry Callahan show, as I recall. Right here. Yes. yes. I, I think a green room for guess to some extent and one of the smaller ones would be nice you know somewhere that if they didn't want to just go right into the studio sure i could see mike having a cup of coffee in the morning sure, right? yeah, yeah i like that <laughs> yeah. 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 Keep, I some, see uh, that. keep some m&ms in there for me or something. Yeah. I'll, have, I'll have a rider put together oh i saw a story <laughs> springsteen's rider on his latest tour what's that uh <clears throat> i'll tell you right now i'm milton's.com of course get all your stuff we'll be there soon springsteen rider Um, calls are also good whenever you're ready. All right. Well, okay. We'll do it. Uh, sure thing. They load up, Coleman? Yep. Once Gus has his dress on, Coleman, let's not rush this. Yeah, no, no. According to the official tour rider, uh, as a New Jersey guy, Coleman, are you aware of my love oh, for Bruce Springsteen? Of course, yeah. Okay. I mean, you understand he is the boss. The most famous. I think probably, if I said to you, playing Family Feud, Mike, the most famous person from New Jersey, would he be the number one answer? Yeah. Yeah. He would, right? He's yeah. over Bon Jovi. I, uh, I mo hate most bon famous Jovi. most famous for being from Jersey for sure. Yes. I mean like yeah, I mean like Cuz like Sinatra would probably rival Springsteen, right? Yeah, but you don't even think of Sinatra's Wait, being from no, New Jersey. No, you think of New York. New York, yeah. yeah. Like I mean like I don't know. Who's like uh like is Albert G Einstein from New Jersey? Gandolfini, I guess, if you want to. Vince Lombardi. Yeah. yeah. Let me see Gus. That looks pretty good. That's oh. not bad. Como, has got a nice picture of that. He's of in Joanne's dress. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have to wear that dress for the rest of the day, Gus. Yeah. Okay. John Pelletier is going to be like, now I would marry that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> All right. How's it feel? Snug. That's a nice looking dress. It is a very <laughs> nice dress. It would, it would have been beautiful for a wedding. Yeah. Yes. It shows off the, the tie. Idea. <laughs> it shows That's off the tie. That's true. You're very tanned, Gus. <laughs> well, it's when you sit in a, in a pool for hours at end, it's, you get a tan. I'll take a few calls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Gus has uh, been able to 
compose himself with me being in here today because I was on a plane yesterday. So <laughs> what? This is kind of a heroic effort by me. Wow. Yeah. You find the Boston, Hartford, Worcester, <laughs> Don't Manchester. <worry. laughs> you to avo- what are you trying to avoid <laughs> me? <laughs> just wonder. Well, uh, Milton's.com, of course, social positive range, Chester Hill Square, Chestnut Hill, and the Burlington Mall. Get all your clothes. We know. Listen, top to bottom, it's a place to go. If you're a man, you want to look good, get moving right now. Peter Millar, Faraday. Uh, I love those Faraday ones. Uh, John E. O., Time Bahama, Vineyard Vines. I cannot wait till it's a little crisper out in the fall. I can wear all these great clothes. We'll bring the boys there sometime in the next couple, once I'm back from New York, Mike, sometime in the next few weeks. All right. It's almost like, it's not like, a, it's almost like Mike's like the next guy in line now. Oh, God. I can talk to Conan <laughs> or Steve. <laughs> We'll bring Justin. It's always Justin. I'm more comfortable with Justin. It's always yeah. Justin. And Justin, Justin helps himself the clothes there too. Jesus, boy, yeah. howdy. All right. What was the time you Millens.com. He does. Hello. Hello. You're first up. Hey, Mike's father was a magician too. He did the greatest <laughs> act of all time. <laughs> That's not nice. That's ridiculous. Hey, hey, Coleman, just remember, no one drives the bus like the bus driver, pal. All right. Am I missing something? Oh, is Gus the bus driver? Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't fucking jerk off. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Thank you, Dan. That was that was a good one. Hey, leave him alone. That calls every day. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oof, terrible ratings for the Ryder Cup. Hello, mm-hmm. blowout though, you know. Uh, I had a question for Coleman. Yes, sir. Coleman, if Gus wasn't already planning to kill you. <laughs> After he goes and sees Saw, you're basically planning your funeral. Oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be taking notes in the theater. That's true. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Uh, you guys should have a mandatory uh, search of uh, Gus's Google history every day. <laughs> oh, there's got to be some crazy shit. Just yeah, for Coleman's safety. What, what's, like the, what's the crazy stuff you're into? Not like I'm saying like kinky stuff, but like what's the stuff you're into? Like what are you Googling during the day? What are you looking at? If you're not doing show stuff, like what's your, what are your hobbies? I mean, that's disc golf, regular golf. Just going out. It was your hop? Just going out? Just, going out. just like, walking I, it, around? It's, going it's, out. it's honestly... <laughs> going out. But it's like... It's like, it's like I'm going to Google that right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think I'm going to get? I, going going out. out. Let me see. One sec. Well, with your algorithm, suicide, I'm assuming. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. KMS show. Going out. <laughs> the first thing you get is... The bang. Urban, urban Dictionary. To be romantic, you link with somebody like going out. Oh, okay. Go out dictionary, dictionary, party outfits. A lot of, like going out for nights, like party outfits and stuff. Okay. And then Andrew Gus is going out. It's already out there. <laughs> <laughs> Just him walking out, out the door. I'm outside now. Can I Google going in? Oh, so I go back inside. Okay. He just does that all day. <laughs> going out, going in. This entire day. Pump it thrust, baby. You Google like, golf and going out. Like disc golf stuff. It's I really like how to do stuff. Like if I'm, if something's broken, like YouTube tutorials. I'll go. Like, I knew what he meant. But it still sounded right. funny. So how, it's so did you do YouTube stuffing a teddy bear to fix your broken TV. <laughs> no, I, it's like cha- uh, finding out where like how to open latches. How, on I'm cars. like a conversation. He's wearing Joanne's wedding dress. <laughs> Why are you trying to open latches on cars? Like what are you talking about? My car about? when That's I have to said. switch the fuse open box. Latches. It's the, so like uh, on a Ford Focus. It's difficult to get to the fuse box because it's under the engine. So you have to find out how to mm. properly open it without breaking it. Do you have a Ford Focus? My wife does, okay. and she needed a new. Be great if you didn't. Like, What's a Ford Focus? <laughs> I'm just googling <laughs> in case I'm ever in that situation. <laughs> All right, hello. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One sec. Six oh three. It's a nice truss. Yeah. I think I thought that was the origin of why John was angry. Is if you ever have to return a Milton suit that can do things to a man. Oh, sure, sure. You know? Yeah, no, I even understand that. But yeah, Milton's was like, let him keep it. But he they, he never picked it up. Yeah. Somebody else can get it now. I guess they could donate it. I don't know. Mm. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Hey, Mike. Hey, Coleman. Hey, gosh, how we doing, guys? I have to say hi to Mike. He doesn't like you. So. <laughs> Some man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, congrats, Coleman and Gus. Uh, congrats to all you guys on a great show, but Coleman and Gus, you guys must have been happy, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Well said, JJ. Oh, Don't cool. be an asshole, man. <laughs> <laughs> you really know to hit the nail on the head. Cocksucker. Go ahead. Hey, Kirk, I had a question, though. Uh, sure. I know this whole producer search, I know it was you never knew until last second. Um, was there ever a point, ever, at one point, I know it wasn't a bit, but you were considering either keeping Callahan or asking uh, Steve to come back? Was there ever a point? Ever? <clears throat> I actually initially, no not, no on Dave. Dave was out. Like, and, and to be fair, Dave wanted to be out too. Like, we joke around, but it was definitely mutual after a while. When the first open, I reached out to yeah, Steve and yeah. said, would you have any interest? 
And then, I, not that I regretted it, but I was like, I don't want to go backwards. And Steve was doing other stuff anyway. So we both were kind of like, that doesn't make sense. But Steve, I think he's have an increased role sort of around, you know? Did he, what was his response to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of that. It was, and I was, I was kind of like, ah, it's probably not the best idea. He was like, yeah, yeah. He's, he has a house. Like, he's doing his thing, you know? Right. But I kind of thought maybe he would be almost an executive producer kind of on the show, like overseeing everything. But then I was like, What's he gonna like? What's he gonna do? Tell these guys, and that would also be tough because if he's doing that, but also doing other stuff, yeah. you would eventually get annoyed Correct. by that. Correct. Or, yeah. yeah, yeah. But no one did. Well, Mike, you do other stuff, man. You're so busy with all your stuff. That's right, JJ. Thank you, JJ. It sounds condescending, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. JJ's an earnest guy. No, 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 no. Yeah. Big fan, big fan. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Thank you, JJ. See you, buddy. Is it itchy at all, Gus? Or no? No. Oh, nice. You know, wear it out of here? No. Is it busty or no? Does it have a room for the chest? A little bit. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, this is Oki Minifan. It's who, Mike? Oki Minifan. Oki Minifan. Oh, hello. This is Oki Minifan, and uh, Coleman's such a fucking drip. Oh, man. Looks like a fucking bag of milk. Coleman looks like, like a, bag, like a bag, bag of milk? <laughs> is that right? Does he? Yeah, it looks like a, put, talk about putting the tattoo on her Ferrari. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Listen, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what no, to say. He's, he's a cocky. He's a young guy. Shit, I'm 30 and look better than that guy. Wow. Well, so you, are you a Conan guy or a Steve guy? or? Oh, I'm definitely a Davey boy. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Look, I get it. Thanks for the call, O'Keefe. They're calling you time. It's, but, a, it's, a, it's a process, yeah. buddy. You'll get there. You'll get there. I know. All right. See you later, pal. Hello, up, Coleman? Yep. Hello. So bad at this. Oh, I got it. What is it? I got it. What is it, Mike? I, I don't know the name of it, but I know the song. What is it, Coleman? Paparazzi. Yeah. Lady Gaga. Oh, I, know. Mm -hmm. I would never know that. Thanks. Thanks, guy. I, I never, never know that. <laughs> I think it's throwing, think it's throwing <laughs> one for you guys there. Yeah. <coughs> Jim, Kirk. Yeah. Sam, Mayday Malone. How you doing, kid? Sam, how are you? Hey. God, that was a good. So that, that new kid that was you a got good <laughs> We're just finding our. I guess we're wrapping up right now. <laughs> I think that Fraser reboot looks dreadful. I no so, no, it's gonna be dreadful. What are you doing? I like the character of Fraser. So do I, I. But now here's the thing: if you watched a trailer for Fraser. You'd be like, that's corny. You know what yes. I mean? Like, yeah. it's a corny <laughs> sitcom. So I could these, see enjoying. No John Mahoney, no David Hyde Pierce. I actually kind of like that they're they're trying to make a different. It's a lot show. of stuff with his son and his son's girlfriend, though. It feels like a, like two different shows going on at once. The trailer I saw. I guess I, I and like like why when like he goes to this other bar with his friends? Why wouldn't he go to Cheers? He's in Boston. So uh, I. Me and the Warthog discussed this, and he had a good theory that there's going to be a scene I think where he's like, too. "I'm going to hit the the old establishment, and now it's going to be like a hipster bar." Oh, okay, I actually you know? thought, I actually read somewhere there's somebody was speculating the one the last episode of this first season is actually just like a reunion episode. Oh, like really? Kept quiet, yeah. Interesting. Somebody said they heard from it's probably bullshit, but they heard from somebody. Well, Sam, you would know. Is this true? Well, Woody Boyd used to dip his balls in Fraser's drinks back in the day when he came into our place. Well, you're not going to be helpful in the conversation. We never <laughs> <been> <laughs> See, that's what we were talking about. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam Malone, even Sam Malone's character would not work today on TV. They wouldn't let, they'd be, he'd be canceled. It's too much of a pussy hound. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's another show. Yeah. yeah, just another no, show nobody asked for, Kirk. Thank you, Sam. Speaking of which, this new kid you got, he's got a little bit of a Jim Halpert edge to him. Cocky young kid. He's yeah. acting like he's surrounded like a bunch of retards and he's yeah. better than yeah, them. There's a, yeah, yeah, there's a little, that's, that's a good call. He looks at the camera during the show sometimes. Mm. Yeah, he's like, well, mm. what can you do? Mm. Really? Like, Gus does something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. I like that. The wacky rival and Gus kind of playing the Dwight role. You got the fat guy, Mike Stanley. You know, it all kind of fits in there. <laughs> I'm Stanley? <laughs> <laughs> I say Kevin. <laughs> I, that, would, that would make more sense. <laughs> Who am I? I guess you're Michael. I'm Michael Scott. Michael yeah. Scott. Oh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Great character. That's the analogy. When I came up with right. the Save by the Bell thing, I was trying to think it's as if. Coleman, you got to do a, one of those trailers, you know, one of those spoofs now, I think. <laughs> like an office. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean you, that's, that's kind of stuff you that's do, right? 100%. Yeah, yeah, fire one of those up. I'm in. I like thing. Don't have Mike in blackface, though. We don't want to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be Kevin. That's fine. Although Justin's got a little more Kevin in him. Mike, there's a good pretzel, though. Yeah. I mean, pretzel day. 
Yeah. Yeah. Justin would be Justin would be Kevin. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That, that works. Yeah. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Manan. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What else have you been? What else have you been searching for lately on Google to fix, Gus? Like, what's like, uh, if, like if your sink goes wrong or something? How to my, clean a house? My light in uh, the <laughs> kitchen. I have to figure that out because it's how to like, replace a light bulb. It's not a light bulb. Okay. It's like a fancy LED type thing, so I have to go look into it and actually. Okay. How long have you owned the home? A year. Are you taking a picture? What are you doing? Uh, call me. Are you taking a picture it, of his ass? It, no, from the the mask up. What are you doing? From the mask up to the dress. <laughs> oh, I got you. It's a big It's the man of mystery. I got you. I understand. Oh, you got the mask on also? No, I don't have the mask on. Oh, I have that it. That was more. Mike, no, the dress. <laughs> Some <laughs> share. It's well, it would look ridiculous. Much That's why I was asking. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, have, have some decorum. Would you please? Yeah, That's why you would never. I mean, come on. <clears throat> how, how you doing, buddy? Doing all right. Good. Uh, you talked in the past Guys, about no with how your uncle, when your uncle introduced you to Bruce, yep, how Michael it Steve, kind yep. of changed your life direction. It sure did. Correct. Do you, do you think of, about if your mom had kept you in those dance lessons and you stuck with magic that you'd be some sort of dancing magi magician now? <laughs> uh, well, Kirk the Magnificent was never meant to be. I think he was ahead of his time. Uh, it's interesting if, like, I stopped the dance lessons. I think I was like eight or nine. I guess. I mean, I think even she knew. Like, I was playing so many sports. It was just, it was, like, cruel. She, and this is why, again, Mike, you get critical of me. This I'm down, on, down her. on your mom. Yeah, her stock plummets more and more every day. I don't like to hear that. What do you want me to say? It's unfortunate. She made her choices. She got what she deserved. They say kids, if you get them into sports, should take dance lessons. Yeah, like football players would do. Yeah. Like Lynn yeah. Swan. Ballet did. or, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it helped me with my footwork much. Would you have incorporated dance into your magic? I guess I, could. I was I was doing dancing. There were days, Mike, where I would do dancing and magic on the same day. Wow. Yeah. That's something. You wouldn't think that. Yeah. The, the man you've become. I had to have been molested by somebody. Something <laughs> impossible that I wasn't. Right. There you go, pal. Thanks for the laugh. See you. Huh. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Hmm. Hello. Question for Cole and then a question for Kirk. All right. First one's for Cole. 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 Calling him now. You like All that? Right. You have any nicknames, Coleman? I like Coleman. So it's like Coleman. I've been called Cole before. Your parents call you Jack? Yes. Okay. How Jack about, Coleman's a great reporter. How about man. Chris? That is. So that was the thing was everyone growing up just called me Coleman. So with my brother, when they would call him Coleman, he hated it. So it was always just Chris Coleman. Hmm. Across okay. the board, yeah. Huh. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I, if you ask me, you just have, I have no idea. It sounds like Chris Coleman doesn't like being called Coleman. So yeah. he turned to an evil life of magic. <laughs> yeah. To destroy his older brother. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. What's up, man? Um, you got any places picked out to live? I uh, got to, you know, like, figure where, that out. Where are you going to live? I can tell you right now. I know guy. He's going to live with the bros somewhere. No. No, you're yeah. not going to bro it out. No. Uh, Where are your guys living? Southie, is that what you said? So, Southie is... I was going to say Southie. No. like a lock, right? <laughs> no, Southie yeah. is some of them, and then I have another group in uh, East Boston. Okay, anybody in Bridgewater? Or? No. I think there is, no? There's definitely one. There's one house in Bridgewater I know <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I did say that. I'm very down to, like, film a vlog and... Do an entire weekend sleepover at Gus's. He gets, I think a week. I think you guys should commute together in the morning. Yeah, but then that we spend <laughs> yeah. so much time in here. It's like, <laughs> how's the chemistry with you, you know? Gus? Like, good. It's great. Yeah. It's, you guys it's actually fine. Really like, your, did you have lunch yesterday together? No, no, you didn't. I would have. Why don't you do that, Gus? You can do lunch today. Yeah, do lunch today. Michael, go with you. Sure. <laughs> I'll give you a ride home after. Hey, thanks. Wow. I'll be drop me off at the and end then of my the last question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? Last quick question. Did you hire – here's my kind of working theory. Okay. Did you hire Gus because Coleman is like a nice guy? He's like smart. He's technically savvy. And then Gus is just the guy that even if Coleman fucks up, you can just lay into Boy, Gus. Boy, I don't know how you figured that one. Whoa. Yeah. Why, Jeez, what? Man. what? You did that? Jeez. No way. It's like one is Ken Lane and one is Chris. <laughs> I don't know. No, I mean, yeah, but I, I'm telling you, like, uh, there's, there's, we're learning stuff about Coleman already. The brother, we, sure. again, this is Steve. This is what happens. Of Mike. course, you know this. Of like, course. Coleman's gonna be a maniac in yeah. years. <laughs> it, it, no, no question. I do think it's good to have Gusto because it Definitely. doesn't put pressure on Coleman to also be like the of zany course. guy. You of know what course. I mean? No, yeah, they're both who they are, and I like the dynamic. I like watching these two. I like their relationship. It's yeah. these guys are gonna become best friends. That's why a week together will be good. 
Yeah, when Gus gets divorced, he's gonna, you know, <laughs> he's gonna probably move in. I think I'll, I'll let him plan the whole thing. Whatever he wants to do during that, that stretch that weekend, I will do. And what would you do, Gus? Well, I'm taking. I'd take him to a disc golf course for sure. sure. Boy, the fun starts. I'm down. Early. I like yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Try, I never tried try it. that out. We'll okay. get a uh, nice breakfast at both mornings. One day we'll, we'll do pancakes and bacon for breakfast one morning. Yeah, breakfast then, both mornings. Well, it, well I'd if, hope so. If it's nice a weekend, you. it's nice. But I'll I'll make them. Uh, cook um, some dinner at points. We can watch some at movies. At points, you'll cook dinner. At points. <laughs> what points will that be? Usually in the evening. Lunch That's a good idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's points time. Let me get it cooking. Okay, uh, what, what well, else? Um, I'll show him how I cut the grass. Okay. If he wants to try Can't that wait. for a bit. Show him how I cut Boy. the grass. <laughs> you have a unique way of doing this it? Is how. Do you do it with your mouth or something? <laughs> no, I, I change it up every time. I go vertical, then I go horizontal, then diagonal. Your oh neighbors must think you're a fucking maniac. No, my neighbors are great. When do you do the cut the grass again? Uh, probably Friday. Friday, okay. How often do you do it? Uh, once a week. Not been a rainy week, right? It yeah. Should be, it should be okay this week? Or it's no? going to be a little longer. A little just because of the rain, yeah. Okay. Huh. Have you discussed, uh, not, not to reveal what they're making Whatever you like. Anything, I, I, but, I, but, I, but, that's going to so, be discussed next day or two. I, I, I have a call reporter this afternoon, so we will be, these guys will know their situation. Okay. The next have they had any uh, say? Is there, is there negotiations? No, I'll tell here? them a number and then if we can negotiate. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I would say there'll be a base salary, and it'll be it'll be incentivized. And a disparity, I assume. Well, I'm not going to pay Gus. Is okay. that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you don't yeah, expect okay. a salary, are you Gus? No, this is charity. <laughs> okay, good, thank you. Yeah, he was going up against Mick for a reason. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I messaged Mick yesterday and said, hey, you did a great job. Like, just hang in there, buddy. Like, you know, was, and no yeah. response. We, really? We reached yeah. out to him to come in for the third chair and nothing. What's really? that? Yesterday. You never responded? Nothing. Podcast well, drops tonight. I guess Oop. he proved us wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. He did well the last week. This guy week. doesn't disappear. We'll find out tonight. Tonight's the, is his podcast, right? Yeah. All right. Hello. Hey, I had a question about the, the producer chemistry. Because I feel like on the one hand, you got Coleman, who was like, you know, famously anti-masturbation, which... I get it with the shirt and the personality. Sure. <laughs> Drowning, I think, in consensual sex. I would sure, I understand that. <laughs> but on the other hand, I was frankly astounded last week at the speed with which Gus was able to rattle off a long list of redheaded porn stars. I was. I did you hear thinking, that, Mike? That's, that's I did. concerning. Yeah. It's just weird. Uh, why? Why do you say that? Just the way he did it was creepy. Just the way he does things is weird. Well, I would say he seems like a man who's vigorously you marry masturbated a for a long time. What? Why don't you marry a redhead? Not your wife's lovely, but I'm saying just in general. What? What? what did you ever date a redhead or no? They didn't like me. Oh, all of them? Is None the group got together? I mean, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but if that, if you're... Bruce Springsteen has a song called Redhead Woman, you know. No, but now listen Springsteen to... Springsteen does, yeah. Well, listen, listen, listen up, listen up, stud. Your life's been wasted till you got down on your knees and tasted a redhead woman, Gus. Oh. Hey. It's suggestive, right? It's very what's suggestive. He, what's he talking about there? He's used to being on his knees. Too. He's uh, taking a nice little uh, munching of some oysters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. I've never. Yeah, you know, you've never had two producers bomb on one joke. <laughs> I don't even know what Coleman said. <laughs> I was like, there should be a camera on you guys permanently when, when we're not here. I think. Just to watch the. Although, I, one, how long do you think it'll be, Mike? Uh, you know, I, you've denied this, and that's fine. Yes. But how long be, before these two start talking about how the old man is lo losing it? You know, because they're See, the kids. I, I, it's I, a different I, dynamic now, though. I'm telling you. Because I've beaten you into years and years of... And you grew up... Like, not grew up, but, you know, I was a... Uh, if I may say, sort of a hero of yours. Of course. Yeah, these guys don't give a fuck about me. Well, Gus well, does. Gus does. And do. he, Coma, Coma thinks I'm just some old guy. You know, oh. he's, he's scamming money off. I don't mind that. Here's know. here's what the interesting difference will be, is that, like, me and Steve didn't have the same job. So Steve wouldn't look at me and be like, can you believe you're expecting me to get this up in this right. amount of time? Well, Steve also, also, Steve looked down. And Steve didn't respect me right. either. Yeah. Right. I wasn't working with Dave <clears throat> right. or Justin. Right. The, you know what I mean? So these are two guys. These two, on, they right. are... Technically, like they have the same job. Basically. Well, sort of. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So they can, you know. But I think Gus, at least, Coleman might not have this in him as a, an instinct anyway. Right. But I think Gus would bring it up on it. Like, oh, Coleman seemed to have a real problem with it yesterday. Yeah. Maybe. I think. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Gus would do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. How about you with just a mustache, Gus? Is that a good look for you or no? There's a picture floating around there somewhere with me with like the handlebar mustache. I'm going to guess that, that, that somewhere is Twitter, right? Yes. Okay. When you say somewhere. I, <laughs> the ether. Yeah. I don't, the all internet. Right. All right. Hello. Good 
Hello. One second, buddy. Jeff Stryker. Oh, hello, Mr. Stryker. One second. Do we need to remove Colin Nain from this Milton's picture, Mike, that we have from... No. Uh, okay. I'm just asking. I'm just... I'm just he's he's cropped out of the video. Coleman. Is he okay? Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Look at Colin Nain. Hello. Coleman, you were reciting porn movies yesterday. You forgot a couple of my movies. Oh, the good. Cream Team and Hung Guns. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Nice. Thanks for the call. I was making a movie with you, Coleman. I'd call it Days of Thunder Thighs. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would. Okay. Let's go. Interesting title. Yeah, I like that. Hello. <clears throat> Big, thighs save Big drunker, Col- drinker Coleman or no? Uh, in college, definitely. Sure. Sure. A little less now? Yeah. I Like really this past summer through now, I, re- I really <laughs> haven't been as much. Yeah. You guys? A little, just like a drink of... Yeah. Night, but not Are you boozing in Vegas, Mike, or no? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Not too bad, though. Yeah. Any buffets or no? No. No. No, no. Okay. Vegas, like, I've never got into Vegas. I don't know. I wouldn't go. I would yeah, go. I, like, I went for the comedy festival. Right. I wouldn't go to get. Fremont Street is a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. legitimately, uh, so our hotel was on Fremont Street. Yeah. And we had to walk down. It was a ten, five, ten minute walk to the festival. And there was a time where me and Alba were like, well, we're not, we're just going to stay here and eat because we don't want to walk back down that street right now. Did you call your mom and tell her walking around Vegas a nightmare or no? <laughs> Boy, this is a real. A pain in the ass. I <laughs> mean. <laughs> traffic here. Jesus. Look at all these lively people. What, what's going on? What? It's been six years, lady. Get over it. The Super Bowl's going to be a nightmare, huh? I would imagine. Oh, Although they, they're, they give shit like all oh, the time. I'll say this, though. The Strip, so we stayed on the Strip the first night we were there. Yeah. And then moved over to Fremont. The Strip is much better if you're comparing right. it to, like, Fremont Street. Right, right, right. Yeah. No, you Fremont know? Street is trash. It's, it's, it's yeah. rough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although they, I say the Super Bowl, like, they, they have conventions almost that size all the time. Like, yeah. It's, they're built, Vegas is built for that. Right. So. They, they ha- I probably said this last year when I went, but I'm fascinated by it. Uh, women walk up to you with topless yep. and say, do you want to take a picture? Right. And I'm always thinking, who do you show someone? Like, hey, buddy, look what I <laughs> saw. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what is the point of that picture? I was wondering that my shows. I'm like, is somebody show? Hey, look at this picture I took with Kirk Minahan. Yeah. Okay. Who the fuck is that? But this is not even, I, I go, this is the podcast I listen to. Right. This is just some topless lady. <laughs> like, hey, she's That's got true. tits. That's good. Yeah, it's very weird. Guys are fucking crazy, though. Hello. Good morning, Kirk. Doug Henning here. Doug, how are you? Uh, good. Um, your new associate producer there, he looks a little bit like the original World Trade Center terror bomber mastermind, Ramsey Youssef. I've seen a little bit of that. Is yeah. that right? He does have that look. Thank you. That's All important. Right. Oh. Again. Is he hanging up a landline? <laughs> <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> Matthew Judon looks like out for the year. Adam Schefter's tweet. Oh, boy. That's good at this point now. Like the other kid, the the, the rookie corner, uh, who's been really Gonzalez. good. Looks like he's out for the year too. They're saying. Oh god, that's good though. It's let's let's. Is it? Yes. Yeah, get Caleb tank, Williams. Tank. Yeah, I'm on the tank train too. Get now. a great quarterback. Yeah, oh, you're a Giants fan, right? Yeah, they played well last night. Yeah, fucking great game. I mean, just tank, fucking tank. Hello. What's up, boys? What's up? Not much. I got a few things. Number one, I have a great uh, tattoo idea for uh, Col- for uh, Gus. Okay. So, what do you think about on the lower back? We just say hi, hello, anything you want. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you do that, right? Yeah, I okay. do that. It works. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks, buddy. Uh, oh, good. Six, yeah. I think that would look classy. Oh, sorry. No, good. Uh, also, did we get into the the pills? Uh, oh, great, great, great call. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Great call. Explain the pills which were astronomical. So those were just empty pill bottles. That's not a great answer. That, and I'm, I'm <laughs> you, just, you just collected there? What was in them? <laughs> what was? Well, I, if you watch the live stream. What I was? Said, why? Is that what you just said? No, when you watch, if you watch the live stream. Okay, let's pretend that most no, listeners of this podcast didn't, didn't listen to I you. mentioned that I'm on three sets of medication. Four? For depression, ADHD, and to help sleep. Are they working? Yes. Oh, good. Well, good. All right. That's a lot of medication, Gus. Yes. But they're empty, so you're not using them currently? Well, those are the empty ones. I Because one of them I took to uh, Cancun just to keep that's, all my pills But people, that's hoarding behavior when you leave pills like that when they're empty. Right. Yeah. I just, so that's why I threw them all out now. Nah. And the cleanup yesterday was... But you wouldn't have trashed. cleaned up if, if that wasn't... If we didn't bring it up. If I didn't say to you, you have a dirty bedroom. It would have probably lasted for another week or two before I got into it. Who is the side bed for? I'm curious about that. The dog. 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 Okay. Well, it's not really a bed. It's just the old sheets that. They just sleep there. 
Yeah, sometimes. That's where Coleman will sleep. Sorry, I give it too much credit <laughs> as a bed. Do you, have a, do you have a nice guest bedroom for Coleman? I do. Okay. Yeah. Clean? Clean. Do you believe that, Coleman, or no? Would you uh, share a bathroom gonna, with them? Or we're no? going to find out. Well, we have one and a half baths, so he gets the, he'll gets he get the one upstairs with the bidet in it. But he's, oh, sho yeah. but he's showering in your shower. Well, he's showering in the one shower downstairs. <laughs> uh, Justin had texted me as well and said that he would be down to help clean Gus's house. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. I believe that. That's no question. Yeah. All right. Hello. Hey, Kirk, Joe, the pizza guy here. Hey, Joe. Uh, boy, was, boy was, uh, was Gus excited to tell us he had a bidet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He really slept that in. Asshole's <laughs> clean as a whistle, yeah. boys. Do you use the bidet? I do. Okay. I'm not a big bidet guy. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Uh, are you, 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 you know, Mike? I never used one. No? I'd like to. I like the idea. I'll, I'll tell you the best reason for a bidet I've ever heard mm -hmm. is I heard someone say when you, if you got shit on your hand, would you just wipe it off? And that is, has stuck in my head as a reason for a bidet. It's been, it's been thinking about that for years, huh? I really have. <laughs> <laughs> bidet or not the bidet? Yeah. Right, yeah, what's up, Joe? Oh, are you the drip we kicked out? Yes, hey, I Kirk. believe so. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, what's up, buddy? Uh, my question is, Kirk, when you were at the Writers' Cup, were you using, like, your own clubs? No. Or those stuff that bars That was all... That driver was terrible for you. Well, it wasn't a stiff shaft. They didn't give me a... You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I hear you. It yeah, was just, I mean, I just, everything's I, to the right. Do I you just usually play like a big slice or a no, everything, cut? No, everything was to the left. All my drivers, are the, yeah, no, I play a cut normally, but it wouldn't, I just couldn't, that driver, I couldn't, uh, the irons were fine. Obviously, the putter was great. I made more putts than anybody there, but the uh, the driver, I just couldn't hit. And uh, I just got a book recommendation for Coleman. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you like World War II stuff? Um, To be honest, like, in general, I, I do like watching like World War II movies or documentaries or whatever, but like off the top, I'm just not crazy good with like certain specific moments in it or whatever. But you know, World War II is cool. Well, Kurt, you know, Kurt, <laughs> I don't know if the Jews agree. <laughs> <laughs> great autobiography about Joseph Gobbles. Okay, there you go, Joe. Good one. Yeah. Good one. Jesus, Joseph Gobbles, he calls him. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I butchered that, Joe. Jesus. I'm glad you gave that answer. <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> it's fucking 10, 10 minutes on your World War II fascination. Yeah. I can't get a read on Coleman. So when you're with the the boys in Southie, are you guys boozing it up or bro I think out? He's, I think he's a very laid back guy. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know, like, okay. I mean, you don't like Coleman, Mike? Oh, I like Coleman. I, I'm trying to get a read on his personality because I think he's a very. I kind of thought of him as maybe a bit broy when I first met I him. He is. And now I don't think that's the case. I think he's that's thoughtful. There. He's a yeah. reader, though. He's a thoughtful guy. Right. The other thing, too, is like I, I'm looking at this show being in this position, you know, like four years down the line. I can't just lay out everything oh. day one. Oh. So it's like. It's a mystery, you know. Mike. Oh, you've hidden. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, a mystery. not hidden, but it's like, you know, I, I think one you get three murders in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like. You think somebody else in your room may be throwing too much shit against the wall right now and see if it sticks? Yeah. The, the, <laughs> the guy in the dress? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the joke might be old. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, wait, this Gus run is going to be wild. Yeah. I it's think gonna so. Be, yeah. It's gonna, it'll end badly, but it's going to be wild. <laughs> no. You don't think so? No. You don't mind hating the... Uh, trust me. I've been no. Like, oh, yeah, That'll that. be great in the montage. That no will be great on his last <laughs> no. day. No. 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 <laughs> we'll take one or two more. Very good. Hello. Hey, hey, Kirk. Yeah, I, uh, you're in luck. I uh, wrote down what Gus had for breakfast before the live show during oh, the live stream. Go ahead. All right. So we're going to start. We have pancakes. Pancakes, right, Gus? Number one. Yep. Syrups is number two. What was that? Uh, pancake with syrup. With syrup. Oh, you're syrup like, like, you like a lot of syrup on there, Gus, or no? Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's good. You seem like yeah. you can get sticky. Yeah. But you're a skinny guy. <laughs> you know? I am. You are a rail. And you eat that? You eat the pancakes, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead. And that was followed up with a large coffee, so a bunch of caffeine. Sure, he drinks a lot of coffee, I bet. And and that was to wash down the Ritalin and the Zola. <laughs> <laughs> Empty pill balls is a very weird thing. That's like that's a hoarder mentality. That's concerning. That's concerning. I during the uh, portion of the live stream that I was watching, he was talking about when he was gonna have to end, and he's like, "Listen, I, I've been doing this for 17 hours. I know Kirk wanted a full 24, but I gotta get up to Saco." And I was like, "Boy, you're really putting your foot down. Wow. You, glad you, you did 24 saved hours your straight? dignity. I did 18 hours because what I, I ask for. You just said the live stream your night before the show. Okay, all right, all right fine. Hello, it's not great." <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Hello. You got it. How hey, close are you to hiring me? I have a question for Mike. Go ahead. Hey, Kirk. Uh, 
does Augustus report to you or does he report to uh, Coleman? I made that clear yesterday. His day in, day out, regular stuff is Coleman. Big picture stuff, it goes to me. But I mean, like he would never, like he can go through Coleman to me. So you and Coleman are kind of like when uh, and then, uh, Jim and, and Michael were co-managers. It all comes back to the office. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we need a, we, we need we, what, what, uh, one second. Mark. Yeah, one second. We need like a Pam. We will they won't they with Coleman or yeah, it's uh, interesting. You know. <laughs> hmm. Alex, no, sh- no shot. Huh? Alex seemed kind of chummy with him on the phone today. Oh, I could see that. She's again. She's single. No, she's too old for you. I'm locked into the show. That's Attaboy. easy. That's good. Locked Attaboy. in. That's good. That's good. All right, go ahead. Question for you saying for Mike? Yeah. Mike, Why Mike uh, that? You know, it's go subscribe. It's very obvious, you know, with everything that's going on with the producers that, you know, you're very valuable to the show, Absolutely. especially with Dave being gone. Now, if you're being honest, do you ever go home and like talk to Alba and say, Man, I've been doing this show for years. I'm clearly the best sidekick in the podcast every day go ahead i like this so far this rich asshole who's always bragging about how rich he is never paid never comes to me and offers to pay me a salary i left my job here <clears throat> well first of all you know again i, I said mike wants to, <laughs> if mike wants to be at work on the show he can work on the show i said that a million times that would be truly really psychotic if i let and i was like this son of a bitch yeah, I, don't, no, I mean again he's building his own world by mike that we do help i think with the subscribers but that, i could be wrong that's how i've always looked at it like i've thought that uh, I, I was actually recently listening to uh, Jackie Martin leaving Howard. Yeah. And like I, in my mind, his promotion on the show for his gigs was what was valuable. It made like no $800,000 a year. Yeah. But like those, that was what was valuable. So I look at it that way. Like I yeah. prom- get to promote on a big podcast. At blindmike.net. Thank Go you. Go subscribe. Hello. Question for Coleman. Mary, fuck, kill, content, Kim, Alex Bennett, Caroline. Hmm. Mary, fuck, kill. Oh, I was going to mention that as a positive for Coleman. That yeah. his instinct yesterday. It was to call Caroline. Was to call, even Very though he's friends with her. That was yeah. good. It's a good move. It's good to have a conversation. Uh, Mary, I'll go Alex. Oof. Well, but, well, no, it won't last long. That's <laughs> looking for some alimony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck content kim yeah really yeah we got we got to get that mother daughter situation going <laughs> i like that um kill you guys are good answers Those there are good you answers. go that's, yeah. good I, answers. I didn't realize that was a good, smart way to good go. answers i would i would agree with that i think yeah you know she's dry as a bone that caroline so true well yeah content kim's 180 years old that's fair jesus well the coleman you know he's a ferrari i've eaten the cookies man I bet you have. <laughs> <laughs> hello so she pays her producers yeah. There's a lot of, lot of oysters <laughs> Was it, what do you say about oysters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah munch, like, on munch on the oysters. Munch on the oysters. Munch on the oysters. What a phrase. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Question about the show audience. So yesterday's show, you had the John Peltier thing going on. He doesn't want to take your call. Mm-hmm. He, you know, blocks you and whoever else. Mm-hmm. Then there was the, um, the, the girl you had on the phone, and I forget her name. Mm-hmm. That was She said she talked to him at the show. Yes. And she said that um, she likes to avoid, I think the quote was, she likes to avoid night before KMS show drama. Uh-huh. And I heard that phrase, and I was just like, what? And I, I've gone to several live shows, but I'm like, <laughs> you're, you're you nice. just hear this shit? That's a good point. You're nice before, <laughs> you're nice before the live shows are pretty quiet, generally? Yeah, but uh, I'm yeah, just I did it with my daughter. Was pretty, people my, doing, mine, was pretty, like, mine, mine was pretty quiet. <laughs> It's a good question. I mean, no, was something happened. Yeah, something happened at the bar. Some idiot was it right, Mike? At the Portland one, some idiot like threw her against a wall. Remember that guy? What's a oh, you know the guy's name? I never heard the name Shit. associated. You know what, Gus? Was, oh God, who was it? Uh, he's a he's a lot of them. Not what the fuck is his name? I have I, I have it in the tip. I'm fucking blanking. But yeah, yeah I think I that's who, I think that's what she meant. I think. Yeah. What was the? Oh, so I didn't know if she was referring to an actual incident, but I, I I just sort of wondered. Do you ever hear some of this shit and go like? These people need to get a fucking life. Like, enjoy the show. I got one. I mean, it was a bunch. It was like, one, uh, the one of the first ones we did. The guy who was hosting the show on the Friday night was absolutely hammered. It was fucking embarrassing. <laughs> what are you talking it's about? Dreadful. I, I forget. It was. <laughs> I forget. I mean, it was embarrassing. And then he put a video up, and he was like, "Everyone's like, oh, you should be the star of the show." Yes. It, was, it was not. It was not. It was. On, what's the fuck guy's name? Well, let's even. Let's even. Let's even use the Julie situation, though. Like, she gets a little bit of uh, attention from the show, and mm-hmm. then she gets all dramatic. And it's like, do you ever just sort of go to some of these folks? Like, 
lighten the fuck up. You keep asking or, me this I question. Mean, they're all nuts. So I, we always say they're all I'm with, I'm with you, buddy. We're good with that call, was a call. strange moment saying. when Justin... That was Justin uh, hates you. I didn't know what he was talking about with the Twitter thing. Because... He was like, "Oh, maybe it's a fake account." That, I but that's a ju- that's a Justin like that's his way of saying it. I think. Okay, I think. So she has a Twitter account then. I don't know. I, I, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. But she said she was, she was crying in the car. That was weird. I didn't understand. I don't know. The only thing I thought of was maybe the Kevin call. Maybe the Kevin. Oh, oh maybe oh, oh. like which was mean, but like that's the show. Like that's the show. You can't. You know. I, I guess. Don't, so, yeah. I, I feel. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But even you wouldn't be crying in your car. In Saco about a call from three days before. But I don't think it was in Saco. I think Justin said that was. He he was saying she had said like in her car in like New York or something. Got it, got it. Fuck's that guy's name? I'm blanking anyway. All right. I'll have the answer in about 300 episodes. <laughs> there you go. You'll get there. You'll get there. All right. Well, anything else, boys, before we, before we wrap this fucker up? So tomorrow, Mutt's here. Uh, have you dealt with Mutt yet, Coleman, or no? I don't believe so, no. Okay. Very talented. Very t- I think Did he endorse you, Gus, at the he show? Did. He did. Uh, that's right. how much with of a great <laughs> EEI bit with the trombone. <laughs> That was sad, but this is that's all he has in his life. Is the uh, I even see on his mutt stack at the end of it, he writes good weekend. And I'm kind of like, that's, uh, that's <laughs> sad. It's like, isn't that sad? Kind of that's how much uh, of an impact mutt makes is that Coleman's not quite sure if he's met. <laughs> well, honestly, some of those those episodes of the tryouts blurred together where like watching someone almost felt like you were there right. with that guest. So Trust me, you, just... would, you would not remember him. Yeah. <laughs> you, how about the fact that you have he didn't endorse you? Does that bother you when he comes in tomorrow? No? Fresh, fresh late? Not at all. I mean, okay. why would he want to when you could go with? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go, Gus, go! <laughs> <laughs> Justin just texted go, me the guy's name is Wagon. <laughs> um, oh, okay. I never, I didn't know that. Idiot. Name. I saw him at that night at the portal. He was absolutely fucking hammered. Jeez. Another excellent. Calling the audio night that sounded that poor in the restaurant. It was good. Top one of my better shows. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> fucking believable. Did you ever see a size of that screen at the Plymouth show, Coleman? Did not, no. You haven't seen that? No. Oh, show that to him after the show, Gus. I mean, Please. I'd just say it's probably as big as this window. I don't think it's I don't know. Were you at the Plymouth show? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it seems okay. big. Okay. What, what live shows have you missed? Uh, only the ones in Madawaska and the first Sacos. But I've been to Wilbur, both Wilbur's, Portland, and Plymouth, and the last Saco. You haven't been to Madawaska yet? No. Well, I think we're done with Madawaska, I would think. We did it all that day, Mike. I suppose, yeah. Super it all out there. Yeah, we did it all. <clears throat> all right, so Mutt's here tomorrow. Uh, go to blindmike.net. Go subscribe to that right now. Endless, just a river of content. Barrage of content, It's yes. flowing through there right now. It's peaking. So what's what's this episode of Quincy? Uh, th- I got to say, this was a bit of a, a, a letdown because we oh. recorded two in one day, mm-hmm. and the one prior was about just... I mean, you want to talk incest. This was almost like it was like, exce- like so <laughs> last week's episode, go watch last week's, Quin- like ignore this one. <laughs> okay. Because sure. last week's episode of Quincy was, uh, the, the uh, a girl is thrown off a cliff okay. and they think it's the boyfriend at first. But is it? Then they find out she was pregnant oh. and the boyfriend says, well, that's impossible. I've never had, we never had sex. Oh. They realize it's her father. <laughs> and then by the end of the episode, they're kind of like, "Man, nah, it happens." Yeah, well, that's it was TV. crazy. That's TV back then. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Was it father played by anybody or no? Uh, no one I recognize. No. no, no. Justin texting away. But he cares about this stuff very much. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay. So yeah. So what's is it, what's this? That's this week's or that's uh, that was last week. So okay. that's up now. And then this week was a bit of a, a letdown after that. A bore, a more boring Quincy. Oh, well, t- 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 those long seasons, you know. I will say we do have up now also. I, while I was gone, I let Hackride and Craig do a show. Oh, God. And then while I was away, I get messages from Hackride chastising me for it only being on Patreon. That's so fair. I mean, I'll re- you- release it on YouTube eventually. <laughs> Good. I mean, yeah. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't like his work being sequestered. It should be for everybody. That's, I think that's only fair. Eventually it will, yes. Okay. Later in the week. What else do you have to say for yourself, Gus? What else? You, what, what, what are we promoting here? What do we got? I mean, we have the uh, the network. My Kirk, uh, Quantum Kirk came out. We talked about uh, Scott Spears and the Bill Cosby <laughs> interview. Yes, yes, I remember. I that. listened to that one specifically because I loved that episode, but I don't quite remember it. So I don't I, either. I wanted to check it out. Is that a Steve episode or a Dave episode? Dave. 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 Okay. Very early Dave. That feels like that's early Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then just. We'll be back. I'll be back here tomorrow with more stuff. And what a wow! What a tease that. And is. then I, I went bowling league tonight. That's about it. What? Guys, my bowling you're... leagues tonight. So. Your bowling leagues tonight. Oh. Who yeah. do you bowl with? Uh, just uh, my like my friend's dad, my buddy, and a bunch of guys. Your friend's dad and you bowl together? Well, like, we're in the same league. Is your friend in the league? Yeah. 
So your friend and his dad. Well, it, not it's like, interesting to lead off. With your friend. <laughs> well, because if you met his dad, his dad's a lot cooler than him. What's his? What's, your, what's his dad's name? Paul. Paul. Okay, is he a good yeah. bowler? Oh yeah, he's I think the oh. best one in the league right now. I'm wow. number seven. You're, huh? you're ranked seventh. In I'm ranked seventh out of thirty-two. You play any regular sports? Like disc golf and I mean, bowling. I, I do golf, but, okay, but you're terrible. You said right. Uh, I'm bogey golfer, a little under. Okay. What's your average score in bowling? Bowling, yeah. Uh, probably a 110 right now, I think my average is. Isn't and that terrible? Candle pins or big bowls? Duck pin. So a candle pin. No, it's different than candle pin. Well, I don't, I'm so, not. So imagine. I'm embarrassed to say I don't know. So yeah. imagine if it's like a 10. I'll try and imagine. Go ahead. 10 pin and candle pin had a baby. So the pins are smaller, but they're shaped like 10 pins. And the balls are smaller. They're I, a little I, bit I, bigger I, than I, candle I, pin. Do you know what he's talking about? I have no idea. No. What are you fucking talking about? It, it's a very niche type of bowling that's done here in, in Rhode Island and Maryland. That's really like the only two hot spots for it. You just said here, Rhode Island. <laughs> I meant, I meant Rhode Island and Ma in Maryland. Okay. But do you do it in Massachusetts? Or do, uh, you, or do you do it in Rhode Island? I do it in Rhode Island. Where is that? In Warren. In Warren. Okay. What's the what's the bowling uh, alley? Dudek Lanes. Kevin uh, from Bristol is in the league that's next to us. Oh, but but wow. he's he's injured because he threw out his back his first week. Okay. <laughs> he can't even bowl that okay. fucking tub. <laughs> so, okay. So you're, you, what time is the session? Starts at 630. Isn't 110 not great? It's a present for, seven for in the league. For duck pin, it's duck pin. Oh, that's right. Okay. Imagine two bowling things had a baby. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled okay, it. so you, Paul. Well, Paul's on a different team. My team is me. Who do you travel with? I just travel with myself, and then. So what just, the fuck does Paul have to do with anything? He's on. He's on. Uh, like t he's on another. Who's on team. your team? My what's team. Your, what's is your team's name? Paul's dad. We're the Shathids. The what? S H I apostrophe capital T H E A D S. Uh, Shathids. That's funny. Oh, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Who's on that team? <laughs> it is myself, uh -huh. Joe, Bob, and Trung. 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 Who's that? What's What's his last name? Uh, I don't know his last name. <laughs> is that his actual name? name? Yes. Is he? Where's he from? <laughs> he's from Rhode Island. Okay, he's not like. What's his dare? What's he, where, they? Uh, I want to say. I, I think. Some he is of Asian descent. Okay, I was just asking. Okay, yeah. okay. So there is Gus's crew would have a guy that just doesn't speak English. Yeah, they, don't know his, they don't know his name. It's an eighties comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's you, Trung, Joe, and who? Bob. Bob, Joe, Gus, and Trung. How are you guys doing in the league? We are in dead last right now. But we had our uh, best week last week. We are took, you the best player on the team? Yes. Okay. You won last week. We did. We took three out of four points. Who'd you play last week? We played. Who did we play last? Oh, we we played Paul's team. Oh, who's the star oh, of the league? Wow. Who's ranked first right now? Paul. <laughs> oh, what's he averaging? He's averaged, I think, 125, 130. Oh, so he's huh. in his own league. I mean, there's a couple of guys in the 120s and then yeah. the rest of us. Is it a co-ed league or no? Nope. Guys only. Guys only. You don't allow a woman only. in there? No, this is a guy's league. Well, she's like good. That. That's guy's league. Sorry, sweetheart. Hit the bricks. <laughs> yeah, it's like an 80s comedy, too, though, where she cuts her hair. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then her and Gus fall in love. Yeah, they fall in love. Yeah. yeah. Trung is actually a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's been <sighs> you the whole time, hasn't it, Trung? So, uh, well, I was going to do my Trung, but I won't do it. So... <laughs> So 6.30 tonight. 6.30 tonight. You guys, the bros go out after or no? Uh, we just hang out there and I just drive home after. You know, have dinner with the guys after the league? No. Oh, I don't know. Does it feel we, like a bowling we, league thing to do? Uh, it's you know, more Gus the, feels very like, do you ever see the movie um, I Love You, Man with Paul Rudd? Paul Rudd, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, he's got that vibe where you right. invited those guys to the wedding. <laughs> right, it, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you missed a game then? I, I did. I missed two the weeks. The one they won. Well, no, they lost. Every game that I was not there, they lost. Okay. okay. So tonight, you're playing who? I don't know yet. Oh, yeah, I, you know? Oh. I'm, they, they so show you're going to win? Forget. Oh, yeah. You guys are hot now. I'm feeling good. Okay. Is there a problem wearing that dress, Bowling? It might be. <laughs> well, listen, you made the deal the rest of the day. Is that, is that a lead? Oh, yeah, that's right. Do you have your own shoes? I do. Okay. Own shoes, own balls. Own ball. Yep. Okay. Wow. What kind of ball is it big, the, for that league, the small one or the big one? It's They're bigger than candle pin balls, but they're, they, they still fit is. in your hand. Yeah. Wow. Like yeah. three or five. Three Same or five rule, pounds. you get three shots every yep. time? Three shots, but you have to clear the deadwood. You can't use your deadwood in duck pin. No, of, course, with Mike. of course, yeah. No, I figured that. Can you do? Do they have the thing where you press the button, or do you press the thing with your foot to, to get the? Uh, you have to press the button. They used to have the foot, and I, I miss like, the foot. I like the foot thing. Collins Bowler Drum and Bill Ricca still has the foot thing. I like a candle pin, but like hundreds to me is like a shit score. Yeah, I would think that's no. The, there's the never been a perfect. The there's never been a perfect game in duck pin. I think like the high is in like the two, history of duck pin. In the history of duck pin, there's never been a perfect game. I think is that the, true. Yes. Look at how it. do you know that. Because I asked this question last week. Yes, Paul, Mike. <laughs> what do you, what do you, uh, yes, How would Trump. anyone know that that's true? <laughs> I, I'm telling you for a fact, there's never been. Let me see this. What's there's a, never so been a perfect game? What? Really? Yeah. Duck pin bowling. They say never, ever. Perfect, perfect. is still 300, I assume. And yes. Okay. Yep. Let's just, yeah, I guess. Oh, I've seen this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who has the highest score ever? 
Like 274, I think it is. 279. Pete, Pete Signore Jr. Oh, wow. Although, the first YouTube video is perfect game. Boy 8 rolls 300 in duck no, That's bullshit. Yeah. In 1999, Sports Illustrated named Elizabeth Toots Barger among the top 50 Maryland athletes of all time. <laughs> She's claimed 13 number one rankings from the highest female duck pinner average. So, if Elizabeth Toots Barger, who passed away in 1998, but if she were still alive in her prime, you would not let Toots Barger on your team? No. Nope. Because she's a woman. It's, it's just our league, the way the league is. The league's full. We got 32 guys. It's good. It's like Augusta. You want to read a sad sentence in somebody's Wikipedia page? In 1992, she led an unsuccessful campaign to make duckpin polling the official state sport of Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Can't yeah, they just let her have it? With just a little more juice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why, why wouldn't they? The high, why are all these different numbers, though, Gus? Like, score 279. Oh, number of games in set. How many games in your set? Three. Three. The record for three is Jeff Piles. 655 for That's a three-game set. Really good. Now, why no? He's a record, Gus. <laughs> That's the best. I am seeing a lot about this eight-year-old kid, though. You're not buying. You're not believing. You believing it or no? There's there's like multiple articles about how he had a perfect game of duckpin bowling in 2017. Would you let him in if there was a spot? What do you mean? Would you kick Tron <laughs> off? He's right? got the record. No, wait, I'm not kicking anyone off my team. He's, what if he's the best? Doesn't uh, matter. It's who's, who's we, first man out. The yeah, first man if out. You had to kick, if somebody had to be kicked off your team, would it be Joe, Bob, Gus, or Trung? I'd have to go probably Bob. Why is that? Who's the worst one? From the vibe. No, he's not the worst one. Oh, Joe's the oh, worst yeah, one. Be, but, be. but the vibes of the team. Like, Joe's just a complete ass. Trung method, yeah. 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 <laughs> huh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Bob's an asshole? No, Bob's not an asshole. He's a lawyer, so it's... Oh, okay. What does that mean? It's just, you know, lawyers, they got kind of... They just, they're not, like... They don't have the style of, like, my personality. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. They don't have the style of your personality because he's a lawyer? Yeah, he's, like, more rigid, uptight, like... I'm successful I'm, lawyers. Yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you know. He's always objecting to things. Right. <laughs> Worried so, too much so about the score. Bob. Bob can pack a bag in six or seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, that lawyer efficiency. Yeah, it's, it's amazing what you can do. So that's tonight. That's tonight. Okay. We'll be working on the show, Mike. We'll be bowling away. <laughs> I'll be working on the show, too. I want some, you guys send some footage from that or not? Oh, there'll be footage. I'd like to see that. There's yeah. better footage, but there was one in the video. I put one shot of mine. In well, there. again, let's say maybe it's a bigger platform okay. for more people. Okay. How is, is Trung uh, first generation American or no? Uh, either first or second. I well, okay. Think first. Yeah, okay. Have you spoken to him before? Oh, yeah. Are you friends with him? Yeah. Oh, how do you know the Trungster? Uh, just from bowling. I met him at bowling randomly. Oh, hello, Trung. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care started? to bowl with me? <laughs> no, so Would you run into him and like walk into him? No. Well, the, so the way the teams are set is by the averages from last year. And right. the president just randomizes the teams. <laughs> Picturing Gus watching this Asian kid nailing strikes. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's not a we kid. We got to get him. <laughs> he's not a kid. No. How old is he? He's like probably 40s or 50s. Okay. Oh. I don't think Mike thought he was nine. Yeah. Well, but he says yeah. kid. I'm like, that's not a well, kid. Well, whatever. We understood. So, yeah. I'm sorry, Mike. In the, in the movie have... version, I'm going to Disney it up a little Mike, apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, what were you saying? So the, the president makes the teams randomly. So I, I don't know the who. The president. The president of the league. Okay, not Joe Biden. Right. Not so Joe who, Biden. who is that? That's John. John's a president of the league. Yeah. You call him that or you call him Mr. President? I'd call him John. Is there a vice president? No. So if John got assassinated tonight, <laughs> we'd have who to have would a, take over? We'd have to have a new election. Oh, you voted <laughs> for him? We voted for him. Who, who, did he, who did he lose to? Who lost to him? No one. Oh. Well, He's been the president of the league oh. for years. So <laughs> why, why, you why, why don't you... Make a play for that. I don't want that kind of responsibility. Sure, I understand. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot. Yeah, Trung wouldn't want that either. He's got, no. enough, he's got enough on his plate. Trung should probably be in charge of like finances, Mike. I would say. <laughs> wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm just saying. He seems like a smart the, guy. The treasurer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So tonight's a. So what's your record? We are currently, I think, four in sixteen. It's four points a night. <laughs> what? Your four? Your record's four and sixteen? Yeah. Good so you've Lord. lost four times then. No, we've won four times. Oh, I thought you said one, I thought you said get four points for a win. You know, you get four points a week each. So it's there's three games: game one, game two, game three. Okay. Those are all worth a point. And why then is this total so, score? You understand why is it so difficult? <laughs> How long is a season? Uh, we start in <laughs> September and we end in March. We start in September. Yeah, wait, the, twenty games already? We start the oh well, twenty games, games within like one game oh, is four oh, games. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so once a week or twice a week? Once a week. When when to the playoffs or in when? Uh, so there'll be a first half winner. Uh, well, they'll be determined in December. So you have no chance of making the playoffs. Oh yes, we do. Because then there's and oh, then sorry, at the beginning of the second <laughs> at the beginning of oh, the second everything's, half, everything's wiped clean. Everything wiped clean, and if it's the same winner, then there's no roll. But if it's the same team, you're gonna be in last place, though. I mean, you guys stink. <clears throat> you're four and sixteen. We're about to make a comeback because the first three weeks are done without handicaps. Now handicaps are put in. Oh, so everything kind of gets equal. So everything gets equaled out. Yeah. 
Okay. So I always say I'm, I want to be a second half team, not a first half you team. You always say this? Yeah. Okay. What is Trunks take on it? He agrees. <laughs> okay. How about Bob? I know Bob, he's an asshole, but. Bob wants to win every week. Yeah, okay. What about Joe? Joe is just an asshole. Who's the just, captain of the team? Me. You are? I am. Self-appointed? Uh, just the top eight bowlers are the captains for each of the eight teams. Oh. oh. Do you have something different? Do you have a, do you have a uniform? Not yet, but we're working on them. I mean, somebody will do that for you. If yeah. you Wait, what if there's two on one team? What, what do you mean? There's eight teams, so they probably spread them. Yeah. Out. Okay. Uh, Gus, don't, I mean, it's a stupid question. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 do you think this. there's a chance if they start making a comeback that the next live show, he's like, I can't make it. It's, I'm in yes. The, I'm in oh, the no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm in the finals. They know I'm the first one gone. Okay. Is that true? Who fills in for you? No one. Just three guys? Wow. It would be three guys, and I would just have to go early and that free ball on my own. You on your own? <laughs> so I'd have to, like, so if, if I know there's, like, a, a night I can't make, I'll, I'll go down to the alley on my own and just bowl three games, and then it gets That feels like total in. bullshit. Well, I go always. No pressure. Yeah, <laughs> what? I mean, I always go with someone. Are they, so, like, in your face? They, the video <laughs> it, or <laughs> is there somebody to document it? No, someone will just bowl with me, so, like, to keep pace, because if I go by myself, I'll go too fast. and I. But somebody has to document your score, though, because you could be lying. It's all recorded um, automatically by the uh, alley, so we just, they print it out and put it in. Okay, and that's 6.30 tonight. 6.30 tonight. How long does that take? Uh, about two hours. That's a, that's a decent night. You don't hang out with the guys after? No, because we all everyone goes home. It's the, it's the Tuesday night away from the wife. a couple of suds, Mike? Or? Yeah, right. Well, we have it during. A couple of suds during. Oh, oh some appetizers or no? Nah, not just, really. Just okay. the, I have dinner before. And How long do you get there to warm up? How much time do you have to warm uh, up? I usually take about, I get there about half hour early. Okay. Get loose? Loosen up the arm. You have a glove? No. No, oh, I don't know. Okay. But you have your own ball and your own shoes. Yep. Shorts or pants? Shorts. T-shirt. Tank top. Tank top? Tank top. Tank top. Tank top. Why is that? More Just looser? let the arm go, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I can understand okay. You wouldn't do one frame with the dress on? I mean, I'll do a frame with the dress on. Maybe warm up. Just, just, I, I, I'll warm up with the dress on. Yeah. The guys, yeah. I, these guys, especially Tron, he's like, he's wacky. Tron, yeah, Tron right. gets that. <laughs> the thing, they won't be surprised when I do, show up. In the Why dress. would that be, Gus? <laughs> <laughs> do you show up there dressed like a woman often? Not, not like a woman, but I've worn ridiculous outfits. I wear heels before. sometimes. Like what? Yeah. What have you worn? Are, mean, are you the wacky guy on the team? Yeah, yeah. Okay, like what have you worn? I mean, the outfit I wore at the uh, bio dude. Um, being bad competition. Okay, let's pretend I have no fucking so idea like, what you're like talking about. It's like a bright blue and pink with flamingo matching top and bottom. Okay. I got a couple of rompers I've worn. Uh huh. So, what the fuck it. is wrong with you? I'm just having fun. Okay, well, go, <laughs> if you're having fun, have fun. I'm picturing the scene now where Gus comes through in a clutch moment, and the lawyer is like, "I may not always like your method. <laughs> God damn it, do I respect you?" <laughs> I like, just like the idea that's going to be one of the nights Coleman is there. He's going to go there and watch that whole thing. That'd be great. Yeah, two yeah. hours of uh, watching yeah, Gus. Well, Coleman down, it's a blast. Make friend, friend Are you a bowler Coleman. at all, Coleman, or no? I'm not great. I'm a recreational. It. I stink at it. I stink at it. Yeah. yeah. I'm same. Mike? Probably oh, pretty not. bad. No. Yeah, I'm not. It's not. It's, yeah. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, six, seven years now. Like, I took breaks when I lived in Nevada and stuff. But. Sure. Well, yeah, I understand that. Is Paul is Paul the one who got you back into the game or no? Yeah, yeah. His, like it's my best friend's dad. So I used to do it as a the kid. dead guy's dad. My best friend, not the dead one. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I think no, that's friend, like his ninth no, best my friend. Best, my, <laughs> my best man like who? who's next to me. <laughs> next door neighbor. Yeah, my neighbor. You guys don't travel together? No, he doesn't. He he's not in the league. His younger brother is. I've tried to get him in the league like sure, three, I, four no, times. I understand. He won't do it. Right? Yeah. Okay. So it's Paul's. Son. Yes. Younger than your friend. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you think he doesn't want to do it because it'll always be compared to his dad? No. He's just worried. That's hard. Like, I, I, I think think it looms over. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, not yeah. easy. No, I just think it is is that he hates, he has a big rivalry with his brother and his brother is so much better than him that he just get mad yeah, that he couldn't right. beat him. That's the old tale as old as time. Yeah, I could see that. One day he's finally just like, give me the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so that all takes place. Well, keep us updated on that. Oh, I will. If you on social media, you can use the uh, show account. Anything else you want? Anything you want to promote, Coleman? It's as relevant to the show as that. <laughs> yeah. Um, just in general with Surviving Barstool next week, i uh, been talking with some of their control room guys, just trying to figure out who would be producing, um, what you're thinking. I know Jeff D. Lowe volunteered okay. to produce. Oh. So I don't know. I mean, whoever yeah. can do it. Well, that'd be kind of a, uh, demotion's the wrong word, but that's humbling himself, isn't it? Well, he's a humble guy. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, he's well, he's a team player. He's a Kirk yeah. Manning Show fan, massive fan of the yeah. show. So They were just asking because there may not be studio space, was what they were saying. They're like 9.30 at night? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get back to them. No, I was no, trying no, to figure no, 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 no. There's no, no one's going to be, like who? I, I don't know. No, I think we'll be okay. We're going to do it at night. Tell them we're going to do it at night when everything's done. Okay. Yeah. It'd be cool. great if Jeff didn't have pull some video for you and you took calls like you did with Steve that day. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Uh, Jeff, fuck you. Let's just take the fucking call. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's great, Jess. We, we, uh, Jess we, Jeff, we have fucking Gus Bowling here. We have, we, we have fucking the trunk sound. Where's the fucking trunk sound? <laughs> Where's Bob? Where the fuck? Oh, you don't have the trunk. Oh, great. Okay, great, Jeff. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> just put the number up. Is that something you think Jeff should have pulled for the show, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're back tomorrow with Mike Mutnansky. Who knows? Are you guys looking for Minda fans as well with these guys or no? Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. If Mutt's here on his own, we'll get through it. I reached out to uh, Grinnell for uh, Whitney. Oh, I can do that. Coming up soon. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just yeah, trying to get yeah. some of those guys. Yeah, you know. Whitney's, yeah, I, I, yeah I'll, don't worry about it. I can do Whitney. But cool. yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, Whitney's tough to get. Carabas is in baseball season right now. So he's, Playoffs, he's yeah. a little busy, yeah, but he said he's that. down eventually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, okay, we'll talk to you tomorrow.